issues whatsoever welcome to the division one play day two and as always go to that order here with me is honk your best commentator in the rival scene right now there's no duck so wait wait thank you thank you <laughs> okay i uh wait uh can you say something now i think okay your mic uh check check yeah, yeah, totally good. microphone is okay. good. Yeah, I, I forgot just to change it to the master. Okay. okay, so we go with the play day two. We've got the pre-show ahead of us. We've got 30 minutes still for to go on the Division 1. One heads up, one heads up before we go to the entire pre-show. Unfortunately, there's no edit of the second challenge for today. It is done. I did finish it. I did finish it. No fails. I did. Let's go. I have done it. But the next play day, they're gonna be two. So I will try to finish the first challenge. Hopefully, you all guys, uh, if you want to partake in this uh, fun um, fun event, let's call it, the challenges, just join the Discord. There's a section with the challenges. You can do them themselves and see if you're better than me. Ha ha ha. You're probably better than <laughs> Anyways, we've seen Jerome. Also, like, before we go today, we also fixed the game viewing. So our observer today will be Jerome. So, so shout out to him. He is our observer and he will do the entire job as of this. Anyways, let's first jump on to reviewing the uh, other divisions on the play day 2. And we'll start with Division 3. You were the active observer. I only see the results. I still see Lopesca as the leader. But it seems he didn't win back to back the sessions. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's pull up last week's results. And yes, it was... Um, oh, that's right. Division 3. Okay, we had Kippy winning last week. And Kippy uh, was not at the first session. So we see Kippy with 25 points there. 
And uh, keep in mind, I do believe you might want to correct me on this, but I think that it's like three, your three worst races are dropped. Uh, chat might be able to correct me on that too. But so Kippy going to get that uh, big goose egg of week one dropped out and uh, things can start to turn around for him. But already he's in fourth place with missing a week. So massive moves for Kippy already. Now keep in mind, Kippy was one of our Division One racers yes. uh, last time. So definitely going to be on our radars. Now someone else that might have not been a lot, on a lot of people's radars is Kodak. Um, I believe from Belarus, and he's got 30 points right now. He got second place in uh, the in uh, Stock Pros with pickups on, which is is week two. Um, he took second place in that over notably over Lopesca. Uh, so Lopesca actually got third for this week, and then we had Tova fourth, not able to replicate the success he found with Emperor, but still doing quite well. Mm -hmm. uh, Rodic fifth, Burdang six and can jack up seven so uh we can see after two weeks this is how the scores shape up 41 for just one question yeah yes the question is like what's what's the matter with mattel and felipe they're both on the zero points uh, Ooh. so uh so i do believe mateo has had to drop out due to life uh things uh conflicting with the playtime on division three um, as for Felipe, I'm not sure what's going on with Felipe. I uh, haven't heard much from him. Oisiak, unfortunately, could not make it uh, to Play Day 2, but was there for Play Day 1. So that's that's what's going on there. Um, Sever, also shout out to Sever. He actually missed the first half of the session, was able to do a lot of recovery work to beat uh, Philo. So he got some points as well from last week. I see. Okay. That's it for Division 3 for now. Indeed. Still happy to see Lopezka in the lead. Also nice to see uh, Towalski, obviously from Poland, my fellow Polish <laughs> friend, just trying to win <laughs> that Division 3. So they're not going to give it easy for Lopezka. As you mentioned, Kipi, the last season Division 1 player. So it's nice that he's always just uh, taking a fight here for the, for the win. And it, it could be close between uh, Kipi, Lopezka and... Uh, it seems maybe Towalski or Kotik, but it's only two players. And Jerome as well. Jerome, Jerome, our observer, top six, so he's always yes. there to fight, uh, to fight. And we're gonna see how he'll do in the in the first play day. But let's jump to Division Two right now. And the, in Division Two, one thing that already I see, TT seems that he won back to back the play days. Uh, I would say that you are correct on that. A nice big 50 points. TT has a lot of fans uh, uh, from Latino America, also from the rest of the world, and he is making it happen here in Division 2 so far. Uh, and this week we had Taco out in second, barely uh, beating out Super. Um and Yurak in fourth, Marquito fifth, Wurzel sixth. This was actually a pretty insane uh, competition, if I remember correctly. Uh, TT kind of ran away with it. Uh, but as far as the battle for second and third, and also the battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh was very intense. We saw Epsima, for example, uh, from Romania. This this uh, division has three Romanians, Ashen being one of them, and he took two wins there at the very end and was looking up to pass to make some major passes, but unfortunately only managing to get two points on Toytanic 2 for the final track. So he unfortunately couldn't make it happen, but there was uh, some lightning in the sky there for him. Uh, we also saw Marquito and Wurzel fighting it out neck and neck, but Yurak ultimately swooped in and grabbed fourth with 20 points on Ghost Town 2 and 25 on Toy Tannic 2. And so that's how it ended up shaking up. Taco barely beating out Super for uh, third. And so these are our current overall standings. Taco. I, I have to say that to this before yes. before the season, you mentioned that Division 2 is going to be really, really like close. A lot of competition here. But for now, two play days. TT back-to-back -back first place. Taco 
seems back to back second place. <laughs> so <laughs> Super Saiyan yeah, seems uh, back to back yeah. first place. So top exactly. three, top three exactly. is that fourth place. Marquito also back to back fourth place. It seems I don't know. I I will say I will tell you, Tara. The the final standings do not represent what happened in this race. It ultimately turned out. Uh, Taco second, Super in third, both races, and uh, Marquito fourth, both races. But it was very much not set in stone. Okay, um, I see, and I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but for now, everyone, uh, well, something that everyone was waiting this week, obviously the best players. I think, you know, I don't want to offend anyone, but this is Division 1, so from the qualifiers is a fair statement that we have the best players for the current season, uh, yeah. second season. Let's see what are the standings after the first play day, because now today is the day of the second play day. And Jan, right. for me, we were watching the, the, the uh, first play day, and Jan obviously coming as a, for me personally, yeah, yeah, I don't know the guy, as a surprise, yeah. uh, he won the the first play day, and he was extremely strong in that play day. And also, what I have to mention about Frostbitten is that, for me, he becomes on a scene like a clutch master. Like, he always just wins badly by one point, loses badly by one point, like he's the, this kind of clutch master. <laughs> and GeForce, <laughs> GeForce Erzu, as always strong showing, Erzu was always there in the top six, GeForce the reigning champion, so all eyes are, are kind of the season on GeForce if he is going to defend his position. And unfortunately, on the bottom, 16th place, BGM, but I don't know, it, did he actually finished last last uh, last uh, play day or uh, he was unable so, to finish it yeah bgm actually couldn't even make it uh to the first play day uh and a, a couple things based off what you said first of all we got chile coming in full force here in division one you and makakowski bgm all representing chile up here in division one you winning by one point like you said um, but I want to talk about Frostbitten for a second because I think it's interesting how there's certain esports and I guess sports players too, but I especially notice it with esports. It doesn't matter what game you're playing, there's going to be those specific people who just have that inner strength, and even in the worst situation, they are going to find something. And uh, that's kind of what happened for Frost. He came in super strong there at the end to bring it down to one point behind Yuan, who had a tough last three races there in the, in the first session. And so Frost really putting the pressure to Yuan coming out of nowhere. Um, mm -hmm. And GeForce tagging along as well. And GeForce is one of those players I would put in the same division as Frost as far as having that uh, inner, inner confidence. Yes, but... Okay, we're gonna see how the second play day will go. I'll actually look forward to the second play day because we know it's picks picks on, right? So we're gonna have weapons, and that's my favorite thing. But Ice will be. I feel like also Deforce uh, is finding himself really like comfortable if in both picks on and picks off. So we'll see how he's going to do today. Also, for me, a big surprise in the first play day, play day was Makakowski. I mean, Makakowski and Jan, two players from Chile. Like, what is going on with South America? Like, all the, you know, like, we've got TT, Jan, uh, GeForce, Makakowski, you know, like, a lot of South America players. Like, what the hell? Is Revolt a South American game? What is going on here? Yeah, yeah. You make a really good point. Uh, it's honestly not a huge community in South America. It's just the people who are playing it are really good at it. I'll, I'll just say good. Um, and uh, they've come together and they've built each other up by competing and practicing and look where they stand now, so. Yes. Okay, so moving on, couple of things to mention as well. Unfortunately, we're not able still to settle the donation link, but as said before, those are our levels that we want to achieve. The level 1 is guaranteed. It is guaranteed. There's $100, so there are prizes for Division 1 and Division 2, as you can see. Uh, we stand uh, at the moment unofficially on more than $100, but not enough to, to, to get level 2. We'll try to settle it down so everyone can support. As always, if you sub to this channel, entire money that is received through the subscriptions goes to the prize pool. So there's 100% going support to the prize pool. And what we're gonna do is like, if we gonna achieve higher levels, obviously those are the prizes that stand. So. Uh, players fight for the prizes that are and that 
can be so you know there's 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 no uh, shortcut or anything if you're gonna reach level three uh, for example then in division one for winning a session there's ten dollars so we're gonna count this from the play day uh, one but okay let's talk now about today's play day because today we have a uh, play day two with the picks on and let's check the track list because track list is really huge and i like this track list because I actually know all those tracks that are the stock, hey. the stock, the stock uh, tracks, right? Uh, if you play the campaign or the, the regular championship, you're gonna drive on those on those uh, tracks. Yeah, let's go. You know what's up? Yeah, I. This is a classic. Uh, if you played the game growing up, you know all these tracks. This is this is what you. This was your home turf. Um, and this is basically the single player order. So we just run straight through it. Toys in the Hood 1 is our start. Toy Tannic 2 is our end. Um, and it, the, the interesting part is it ramps up. It tells a story, right? Toys in the Hood 1, Supermarket 2, Botanical Garden. Now, Botanical Garden can be kind of technical, but a lot of these tracks, very simple. But it really heats up there at the end, and we do have the track list preview for our first. Yes, track. so we, so, so I mean, like, one. so we can talk about because we have toys in the hood, right? That is shown now. now. So we've got supermarket two, museum two, Botan Botan botanical garden, rooftops, toy world one, reverse is called, right? I know for, uh, mm -hmm. R stands for exactly ghost yeah. town one, yeah. toy world two, toys in the hood two, toy tanic one, museum one, supermarket one, ghost town two, and toy tanic two. So a lot of tracks happening honestly there are a couple of tracks that i hate when i was driving <laughs> like rooftop stands out as one of those tracks that i don't mm. like i think it's uh, one of the museum museum uh, tracks that you go under the legs of a dinosaur i think mm -hmm. this is also mm -hmm. like a tragic <laughs> track so what do you think overall about today's uh, track list Oh, overall, this is a crowd pleaser as far as the track list goes. There's no one who's going to hate this track list because it's the track list that people play on all the time. Um, as far as personal favorites, um, I think a lot of people have a lot of love for tracks like Ghost Town 2, Supermarket 1, uh, stuff that happens further towards the end. For me personally, we're going to see some shows here on Supermarket 2, uh, we're going to see a show on on Ghost Town 1 and uh, Toys in the Hood 2. So those are actually the ones I'm the most excited for. But a lot of the racers won't be very excited for them because with pickups on, there's going to be so much chaos on those tracks. Yeah, so if we talk about the picks up on, which maps don't punish you with the picks ups and where the picks ups are really really strong actually okay okay i would actually say i would say rooftops is a good example of a track that is less impactful around pickups um but basically any anywhere where there's a tight corridor people are going to be saving their oils for that and so that's going to lead to a lot of cars stacking up um places like uh, Museum One with the uh, oncoming traffic section is going to be an absolute mess. Ghost Town One will be a mess with, with the oils everywhere that are very difficult to avoid. Um, oil placement matters so much in a lobby of 16 people. And um, I think that's what we'll see have the most impact is who knows where their oils are supposed to be. And so this is an example. We, we're watching Rooftops One right now on the track preview and you can see there's a lot of open areas we do have this one spot right here that could be good for some oils but for the most part very wide track um, not the most technical and so that is going to be less pickup um or it's the the really crazy pickups like oil are going to have less of an impact than a spot like that also about the cars that we have today do you think that there's some kind of strategy uh, for the maps, or are we just gonna have straight Toyeka everywhere? I expect Toyeka everywhere. It's Division 1, this is the most competitive lobby, and I expect the most competitive racers to be rocking the Toyeka because it's the best car. Uh, the Hummer. Wait, 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 wait. It... Toyeka is not yes. the best. You know what is the best. Cougar is the best. Uh, <laughs> Cougar is technically the best. 
Um, but Toyeka, from a stati- from a purely mathematical perspective, without incorporating uh, the human experience, I would say Toyeka is is the best, best in a vacuum. And so, uh, but I will say Hama uh, has really good acceleration and really good recovery. So in a super chaotic race with a lot of people, we might see some uh, some Hama professionals like Stingox opt for the Hama over the Toyeka. I think that even Deforce uh, is a Hama player. Like I think I think he I originally was yes indeed. <laughs> And now he hates <laughs> Hama. Now he hates it. Yeah, everyone's leaving the Hama. Stingox, G-Force, the Hama Disciples have moved on to the Toyeka. So we'll see if they bring it back out. Um, now we do have some oddballs. And uh, Ertsu immediately comes to mind as one of those. We'll see if he brings out the Cougar. And if he does, if he brings out the entire time. Or if he just brings out four specific tracks. What he's going to do with that. I don't expect to see any Aime Vase. Sorry, chat. I don't see, expect to see any Pongas. Very sorry, chat. Because uh, we haven't seen any Pongas this week. And I would be rocking the Ponga for sure. Uh, but haven't seen it yet. I doubt we'll see it today. You know, anything can happen. That, just for the fair play, every single player should at least pick Cougar in one race. <laughs> I mean, go on. Yeah, just to balance it out. Everyone has to pick it once somewhere. I like that. You know, just one, ra- one race and everyone just goes Cougar. That's for the fan base. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. No, I'm just joking. I, the, the issue with Cougar is just the acceleration is too slow. Multiplayer lobbies, pickups on. you got to have that acceleration factor. And Cougar, I'm sorry, baby. It just does not have it. Uh, but Panga, on the other hand, we got, uh, I think that's Tom Dom in the chat. Um, talking about Ertsu maybe going for Ponga, and you know what? You might be right on that one too. I guess it, it, he could bring out the Ponga. He's a really crazy guy, uh, so we could see that. We could see that. Also, that's one thing to mention with Hamad. Is my experience. I always felt like driving this car, like obviously from amateur perspective, it's really hard to to control that car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least that's what I, what I was feeling. Oh. Absolutely, and that's why I'm saying leave it to the professionals. You know, I we might at a at the highest level. I think that Hama can be competitive with Toyeka, especially in a big lobby with picks on. If you're just a, a Hama enthusiast who likes to play Hama once every couple of weeks, once every couple of months in your IO lobby, um, it might not transfer over to a super competitive environment like here because the Toyeka just doesn't have those same issues. It's stable. It's chill. It's not gonna screw you over. It's just gonna give you a nice drive. That's our that's our lovely Toyeka, uh, and, and Hummer just can't offer the same experience. So I feel like if there's a car that has some issues, it should be like we rewarded. Maybe with a better top speed. Maybe with like a better acceleration. Like something for something, I guess. Because it it, it feels like Toyeka yeah. from your your thing is just the most balanced car. Like is is good in every everything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, that's what's so beautiful about the custom content here on Revolt is there are active developers working on making all different cars and tracks. And yet, despite all of that, so many people just love the Acclaim original down in the 1990s. Uh, This was originally cooked up. The stock pros, stock tracks, how has it stayed along for so much time despite all the new custom content coming out? It's just a classic. That's why it's here today. And we right now see, I think Supermarket 1, right? I hate this track. Yes, I, 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 it tricks I, it. I, 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 I hate this map. One. I hate yeah, this we map. We saw the drop down shortcut. We may see people go for that. Some people won't. Uh, yeah, you know, the Isles, Oil Haven. We got this shortcut. More Oil actually didn't go for that one. We'll probably see him go for this one. No, he's going to go on the outside of that one as well. Uh, so there are some... Uh, different routings here in Supermarket 1, which could offer people a safe haven from the oils. Uh, but that is one little note on Supermarket 1. And we're here on Ghost Town as well. This is another favorite track of a lot of racers. Well, <laughs> and this is another little track that I personally... Oh, this jump, this jump is so, I mean, like, annoying, honestly. Like, you can just bump into that, I know, whatever it, the, the, whatever it is, but... When <laughs> jumping over it, you know, like skidding the ground, you can always flip over. It's just so annoying, and this yeah. tunnel as well. And it feels like it's so good for the weapons, like oils and everything. Even this stupid ball in that co- in that corridor is like, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. This is a very technical track. 
um, it, pick up knowledge goes so far away. And something I'd like to talk about is repo knowledge. Um, some people have been playing on these stock tracks so much that they know exactly where you get repoed. And so they will put oils at specific spots where when you repo, guess what? You get put straight back into the oil and you've lost all your speed. So now you're going zero miles per hour, kilometers per hour in an oil. Uh, and so it's extremely detrimental. We'll see how much tactics like that get brought out. But it's happened to me a lot on Toys in the Hood too. It's happened to me on Ghost Town. So we'll see how that plays out and uh, if people are going that far with their pickup knowledge. And right now we're just seeing the last track preview. Final track. Hey, yeah. so many tracks today. It's like, what, 12 races or, or more? I don't know. It's a whole lot of tracks. Uh, 12 might be right. Yeah, uh, it will be a long session. I think it's longer than the previous one. But I have to say, even though the Play Day 1 was without picks up, I still enjoyed it really, really much. There was so much competitive racing. And even without weapons, you know, if the map is correct, if there are like room for mistakes, it makes for a really, really entertaining race. Anyways, we still have uh, like five minutes for the lobby. Any predictions for today, play day? Predictions, okay. Let's make so, prediction. Top three. Well, who, yes. who you think gonna, we're gonna be in top three? If we yes. if we look at the table of the players right mm -hmm. now, right now, Excellent. zero points. Zero points. Oh wait, wait White Lambert is from Finland. <laughs> Interesting. Let Interesting. me see the maps. Uh, I mean, Air Two is down from Poland. So there, let let, there it let is. me check why it's changed. It should be okay. Okay, let me update it. Let me just update it. One second, guys. Reload it. And I. Oh, gonna... Nick! Nick is Finland as well. The new Finnish bros. Yeah. Move over, Air <laughs> Two Ama. Lampert and Nick are now in town. We've got Kila Baris hailing from Chile. Yun going to be connecting from Russia. Sting Should be fine Italy. shortly. <laughs> Should be. Just having some fun. Just having some fun. Okay, it's actually um, not. Oh my god. Live standings. Live standings. <laughs> okay, I'm going to correct, good, correct them, good. but let's just... Okay, let's just go here. I'm going to correct in no mean, in meantime. Yes. I'm going to correct. In the meantime, yes. Uh, so, we've got our... Uh, we got it all figured out, and I will say the people on my radar is definitely Stingox. Stingox is a huge um, stock enthusiast, and not just that, but he is one of the only people that will defend pickups right alongside me. Uh, and so uh, I, you can't see me sting, but I'm saluting you, and I'm, I'm wishing you lots of power and um, maybe some RNG too. Maybe RNG will be on your side as well. Um, so uh, we saw Yun, of course, leading in to today's play session out in first place overall, but he was notably only in first by one point. I don't know Yun as a stock aficionado, nor G-Force. I, I know that Frostbitten likes his stocks, uh, famous definitely does, but he's actually not here. Um, so actually, I think this race is pretty unique in that there could be a lot of people that take this. Uh, Kiki, an example as well. Kiki almost winning uh, the race in the Re Rebel Endurance Championship last weekend, last Sunday. He was so damn close. And um, he might not have performed super well this in the first play day, but I can promise you, expect to see Kiki up there. Uh, so it does look like we got those live standings flags swap. All it's fixed. Me. Okay, so fast. Top three. Yeah. You're top three first today. My top no, three. No, no, no order. Let's go crazy. No, 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 uh, no order. That's top no three. No order. No order. Just top three. We got. I'm gonna go Stingox, Kiki, Laggy Rock, and they're all in a row. But that's not why I chose them. They just happen to be lined up like that. I go with D Force, Erzu, and Lampert. Okay. Okay. That's my top okay. three today. Are the plates actually yeah. ready? Choosing Air 2 is a very dangerous decision, Terror. This I know, I just feel Erzu like... like a very dangerous choice. I always feel like Erzu is a player that is just there in the shadows and suddenly Erzu comes in like second place, second place, second place, second place, all the time top three, top three, top three. So I feel like <laughs> he, he could finish like third. Like Lampert, he's yeah. like a miss yeah. and go, but you know, like... I have that yeah. gut feeling like Lampert can show up today. I feel like Lampert, even last session, he was getting better and better with every race. 
So maybe this week he will show up and GeForce. I mean, like GeForce is just consistent, so could could. I, Kiki's not here, so I'm actually swapping Kiki to Yuan. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm gonna put Yuan in my top three this week. He's been hot, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I see BGM in the chat though. Uh, BGM turns up. Could see some serious Chilean brawling if all three of them make it in. Um, okay, so is the lobby sorry, actually right. actually up? Oh, gonna, is uh, is uh, Jerome able to join? Or I not? think we'll be up in one minute. Okay. Lobby should officially open in in like one minute. Okay, that goes. I'm really looking forward for that. First map going to be is going to be. Let me check. Let me check. Toys in the Hood Four. Toys in the Hood Four. It's the, this is the first map. Basically. It should be Toys in the Hood One. But wait, oh, oh four wait. laps, four laps. Four I mean, laps, four, laps. four laps. I that I was you, that was my bad. You. Toys in the I, Hood I One, like, four hey, laps. Toys in the Hood Four. Okay. <laughs> that was That's my bad. Well. But this is the, basically the, the 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 first track. Are we going to see people going for the star there? Oh yeah, we're gonna see people going for the stars all the way through. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Toys in the Hood one, probably the less, the least punishing, one of the least punishing stars that you can you can go for. Uh, definitely gonna see people going for that one. And these people, it's gonna be like sixteen people in a lobby who know where every single star is on every single track. Uh, and so that's actually a big thing because you can risk it, and if someone beats you to it, you lose everything. So. We could see some risking for the stars too. That's a really good point that you bring up. Okay, I see that lobby is actually yes picking up. We, we see already up already Nick on the fat slug. I don't know if that's the card to pick right now, but Jan <laughs> Jan on Toyeka, Powerade on Toyeka, Powerade. Come on, Lopez had more balls. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Found them on Toyeka. G Force Hama. I said that G Force is not a Hama, but he's on the Hama. Let's go. Lampard. And Frost on the Hama. Frost isn't even a Hama driver, as far as I know. I I think um I, I think he he drives Toy. I, we might just see him pull out the Hama on Toys in the Hood one. It really depends. Now, honestly, though, I say that Cougar is the is the oddball for Toys in the Hood one that we might see people choose. Uh, so I don't know if Frost is going to stick with this Hama, but I've been saying it the entire week. So I would really like to see it come true that some people pick the Hama because the Hama actually with its superior acceleration and uh, and recovery ability. If you're a confident Hama player, you can make it work. Oh, I see R2 in the lobby on Ponga. Oh my goodness. I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> We're gonna have our first Ponga racer. Why no Cougars? Come on, guys! Like he's too busy driving the Ponga. We gotta be. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Cougar is extremely cool, mm. but we've seen some Cougars. We saw some Cougars. This is our first Ponga. He's bringing it right out on Toys in the Hood one. I don't expect him to use it for every race. That would be uh, psychotic, is one way to describe it. Uh, but Toys in the Hood one is a is actually a good is a good Ponga track. It just is so. We'll see if he goes for it. Uh, he, he also doesn't have to worry about the under the car skip too, because he can't do it. So kind of just takes off. The also, there. you would expect a lot of Toyekas, but it feels like it's balanced. It's like fifty percent Toyekas and fifty percent just any other car in the lobby right now. Hmm. Uh, chat, how we feeling? How we feeling about how we feeling about the Hummas and uh, and also maybe that Panga? Are we? We here for the Panga. We got two more Hama drivers joining us as well. Stingox and Ama, uh, both going to be rocking the Hama. Uh, so we've got some some brave choices, and I don't even think this is brave. I think this is just playing the game the right way. Uh, if you're confident there on the Hama, rock it. Yeah. So okay, my top three: <laughs> Lambert on Toyeka, G first on the uh, Hama. Okay, Amma joining the lobby. He's picking the um, uh, Hama as well. Stink on Hama as well. Lagi Rock Toyeka, Kilabars Toyeka. So more Toyeka players joining and more Hama players joining as well. Ah. All right. Got some Stingox fans in the chat. We also got G4 saying, if you can't drive Hama, you a scrub. Smiley face. If you Shout can't drive. For that one. Well, I am I'm a G4. scrub. I can't drive Hama. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't drive La Rasa, you a scrub. Right, G? <laughs> All right, so we got we got BGM on the Hummer as well. So I can't emphasize it enough. So good to see these Hummer choices coming out because uh, I feel like it was it was it was missing a bit. It was missing a bit. 
Okay. Um, like I said, Toyeka strong. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> Toyeka strong. There's, don't there's get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but there's room for Hama. Yeah. Okay, so are the players ready? Are we going to jump? Because this is going to be a long session, 12, 12 tracks. So, as always, after the track, we're just going to go into instant replay. I hope they're going to work. I hope the instant replays are going to work. Yeah. So, we're just going to have the instant replay, then probably table, if we're going to have it updated. If not, we're just going to jump to the another, another race. So, let's see. BGM in the lobby. I think like everyone is in the lobby, minus Kiki, who couldn't make it for today, unfortunately. Mm. Tom Dom isn't here. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, Tom Dom is here. Yeah, he's full. He's full. He's full. Let's uh, go. Yeah, and actually, an interesting note for Tom Dom. It was so fortunate to see. Uh, Tom Dom actually beat Laggy Rock, which I would, I would classify Laggy Rock as one of the big dogs. He's he was in Division One last year as well, I think. Yeah. And uh, Tom Dom it would have been great for him to get an early win against Laggy Rock, but. Uh, the DCs counted for one point instead of zero points, and that one point put Laggy Rock over Tom Dom by the end. So it, Tom Dom just losing out to Laggy Rock by one point. We'll see if he can get his revenge here on Stocks Pros with pickups on. We are in our first track here, Toys in the Hood 1. We see the one Ponga. We see a whole bunch of Hummas. And, you know, one or two Toyekas as well. Makakowski at the end with Jan and Tom Dom. Who is in the lead though? Who's starting? We got someone saying, I don't know this track. Okay, we are starting out, uh, and it was actually Sting, but not going to be going for the bounce there. Maybe feeling uh, worried about uh, Hama's uh, stability there through that section. Notably, who I'm looking at is Ertsu. Uh, and we got Ertsu on that Ponga. It currently uh, in seventh. He's gotten hit by some pickups, but he's making his way through. Okay, I think um, I'm having some problems with downloading it. A little image. bit. A little bit. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. Gonna fix it after the after the race. Okay. Ooh, Mali was um, in the lead. And a star. Okay. So I got it, got it. We got big oils right there. Perfect spot for them while they're trying to climb up. They get brought straight back down. Right now we're looking at Yun, our uh, current Division One leader overall. And uh, he's in fourth behind his brother from Chile, BGM. Um, Gila Bar is trying to get a bit of the action as well, but oil and fake to boot that oil going to hit everybody definitely some new places for oils that we haven't seen in previous divisions like i said the pickup usage is going to be elevated here a beautiful pick or beautiful oil placement right there under the car skip um definitely going to catch people off and it's a big time loss to not go for that skip so whoever laid that effectively cutting that section off uh, we see frostbitten doing some pipe tricks in the Hama to avoid the oils, expert driving from him. Meanwhile, upfield, it is G Force making the Hama work in fourth. I mean, Sting it's just may mayhem going on, and Laggy yeah. Rock actually Laggy Rock is such yeah. a huge lead. Yeah, Laggy Rock broke away entirely early, and that is the nature of pickups on races. If you manage to escape that early group, you can. Uh, avoid so much of the conflict that drags other racers down. Um, Kilabar is doing an oncoming zap there. I don't think it, it might have been intentional, might not have been. Uh, Makakoski, I think that was a shockwave hitting two, and uh, it really can't be emphasized enough that climbing section is the best place to hit people because if you drag them back down and they're at zero kilometers trying to climb that, it's a nightmare. Uh, Ertsu in 5th, 6th with the Panga. He's got a bomb on his back, though. He's trying to pass it to Matty. Not going to happen. We will see. Now, Panga, very heavy car. It blows up, and he gets his favorable roll. He keeps on trucking. And Lagerio like winning right. the race. He had a huge lead, though. Indeed, indeed. 
D for a second. Nick trying to scoop something up, and Maddie beats him out there. Kila Barris had a rough rage, dropped all the way down to 8th. Yuen dropped down to 12th by the end of that there. Sting, one of my predictions for the podium, not proving me well. And BGM, uh, who was almost a prediction of mine, it shows Yuen instead, but BGM in 15th, unfortunate finish there. Um, now, I will... Give me a second. Oh, we're good? Yeah, we're good. But yeah. Headed to Super Mario. You said that actually Laggy Rock could be a dark horse and he is already winning the first race. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Oh my god, what is happening? Why? The instant replay. <laughs> oh, we, we, oh, not the type of instant replay that we were expecting. No. <laughs> no. And we see Goat's hair here no. on the track. Doing yeah. Things. Oh my god. Strategizing. <laughs> he could talk. Beautiful. That was good. No, that was good. That was actually good. We should do more more of those instant replays. I like that. Okay, let me fix that for that now. Oh replay. my god. Why? <laughs> Terror with no cougar. Yeah. It, <laughs> What's the point of showing the screen if we don't have Cougar? We can just show our webcams <laughs> instead, right? The replay. Let me see. Why is that? Why is that? Where where to fix this? God damn. <laughs> can I fix this, though? Shit. Okay. No instant replays. I don't have to break the stream for today. Oh my, oh, they're already racing. They didn't wait, they didn't wait. Yeah, we, we've already started our race here. Uh, sorry, I muted momentarily while I was typing something to our lovely spectator, but we are already in the thick of things. I can tell you, Nick's out in first, Sting second, Power 8 third, and Yun in fourth is our front four right now. G4 challenging as well, Jeromu um, uh, is there capturing back field just a bit. Um, but, okay, we got it up a little bit further towards seventh place. Tom Dom going to be blowing up. And this is basically uh, one big circle. And there's a very impactful part of this circle, which is the ice area right here. We see every single person in the lobby saving that oil pickup for the ice. But no one has managed to escape. Nick, Powery, Sting, we've got Yun in fourth. No one has broken away which means this is very much still up in the air. Nick popping the battery to try to escape, but it's it's a uh, robbery gone wrong as he taps the corner, flips over, loses everything out of that battery. He is going to be trying to make some work with some balloons. Now, we see a very special oil drop that we've seen a lot of people drop across many divisions, and that's very effective. Right before the finish line, people jump, and they have nowhere to land except that oil spot. So we should see that impacting racers, but it's not going to hit these racers towards the front. It's going to be Nick continuing to hold on to fourth and Yun in third. Oh my god, look at that oil strip. And these players have got their oils figured out. And the question was posed, will they have their pickups ready? Will they be strategizing with their pickups? Will they be using their pickups optimally? The answer to that is a resounding yes here on Supermarket 2, as this is absolute mahim. We see the oils over, I mean, this is an absolute surplus of oils on the field. I don't think we've ever seen this many oils in one spot. It could be due to extensive cycling. It could be due to something else. It's not fully clear. Uh, it could just be luck. Uh, but regardless, oil having so much of an impact here on Supermarket. Uh, okay, I think we need to watching this quality i'm sorry guys that it's live but all good all good okay i know why instant replays didn't work but i if i would try to fix it i would need to restore the the, mm. the the stream but let's go back to the race okay okay we still we got it um in the meantime let's see we're on lap 10 of 10 9 of 10 9 of 10 um and we are watching midfield let's uh let's can we get it pushed up a little bit We've got a battle between uh, the here on the final lap here. Uh, G-Force, Yun, Nick, 
trying to finish. It is going to be G-Force, you and Nick, exactly in that row. Um, in the meantime... Oh, I was, sorry about that. I was looking a little bit in the future there on uh, my game. Shout out to knowing the future. Uh, and so we got BGM Makakoski, Frostbitten, middle of the field finish there, uh, eighth place. Nothing too huge out of him. Kila Baris in 10th, Laggy Rock 11th, just some, uh, you know, just finishing it up. And G Force. 14th, Lambert 15th. <laughs> you had to mention that, that on my top 3, Lambert is 15, G-Force is 14, <laughs> it's going on your top 3, but yeah, Power 8 is actually winning that race, so really nice to see him winning it, and Lagirog also 11th, so uh, he's going to be really, really tough today. I don't know if we are going to get a live table score update, I'm trying to get someone to do it, but I can get it. Uh, if not, I can I can get us up. I'm actually in the lobby, so I can uh, I can make it happen. No worries, and I can at least do word of mouth here. You know where to uh, where to update the live table. Uh, I can't update the live table on on the stream, but I I, I can have it, and I can. I gotta I gotta I gotta send you are. the link where I need it. Wait. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna send you because I need it here. Uh. For the first division da data source, I need it here. But we're gonna have the third race, okay. Museum 2. We've got two races already done. I'm sorry, guys, again, for the instant replay. I know it's a mistake, but I would need to restart <laughs> the stream. I hope it would be working. <laughs> But so we actually have we have Laggy Rock leading this uh, with 30 points. Two points behind is Power 8. And two points behind that, Makakoski. Uh, keep in mind, our races has just begun. So there's one point down as Nick, one point down as Yuen. But that's our top five right there as we head into the museum. Yes. And this track is also one of the early tracks, I think. Yes. Yes. Um, so right away we are going to see an oil that's able to catch just about everyone air two is in your love the cougar he is going to be driving it uh, as well as he can but there is a zap there are oils Wait, Erzu, all over the place Erzu, big, and you see best car best car <laughs> big gloves <laughs> he's making it work he's making it work out there in sixth seventh area um now a big part of museum is we're going to see who goes for the shortcut who prefers to take it safe the star has not been taken. You really have to go out of your way for that star. Um, and uh, so, Laggy Rock is holding on to third. Maddie driving in reverse for fourth. The star is going to come out. And Maddie uses that time to recover himself, which is perfectly used. BGM looks like he might have been the one who nabbed that star or maybe had a battery in his back pocket waiting. This is so He's much chaos. He's not able to escape, though. So much yeah, chaos. PGM just in the middle of it, but still, I think he recovered fine from it. Uh, and, and one area that we haven't seen, you have to keep in mind, the special part about Museum is these extremely dark areas of the track, like pitch black areas of the track, where you cannot see if an oil has been laid. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, so that's a very important part of the track. <laughs> Look at Erzo. <laughs> He's making it work! He's got the rockets trained right on BGM, but it looks like he wants to use this strategically because, like I said, Cougar has a very, very slow acceleration. So let's say he shoots BGM, BGM wrecks, and then BGM zaps, uh, zaps Air 2. Uh, Air 2 is yeah. actually going to be losing out drastically from that because Hama has way better recovery potential than Cougar. So we see him just chilling. Not gonna go nuclear, <laughs> not gonna shoot BGM, just hold, gonna hold on to 6th place. Oh, double battery going on. Triple, Triple battery! Triple battery! Whoa! The zap gets played by Frost and it does catch Matty somehow. It looked like Matty had escaped entirely. Um, so it is gonna be Frost and Kila. I really don't like balloons. I feel like those balloons are the useless weapon. I love the balloons. I love the balloons. I actually feel... Uh, quite differently, they, I, they, it's tough, it's tough for sure, uh, it's tough for sure, but it's so rewarding when you manage oh, to get it. Oh, Erzu is flying. Mm, yeah, 
But he gets a great recovery. He gets to um, hold on to some of that speed. He's behind Yun, so he doesn't get hit by the shockwave. And Yun does a 180, so he passes him right up. And now BGM's got a bomb on himself. So we could actually see a fourth place for Ertsu. But Ertsu's going to be feeling kind of worried because... What does BGM have up his sleeve once he explodes? It is going to be rockets. Not going to connect, though. Powerade in first as we head into our final lap for them. Powerade leading by a large margin. BGM goes for the shortcut. He hits Air 2 with the rocket. Uh, Air 2 full recovery into a zap. And it's going to that connect with was BGM. Shockwave. Such, that was such a nice the recovery from Air Zoo wall ride Incredible. into a... Zap. Jeez. Jeez. If he finds a fourth place, I'm going to be shocked. But there it is. He's getting hit by pickups. He's got to do 180. He's lost so much of that top speed. Are you he serious? Runs into a fake. Yeah. Oh so, my god. Into an oil. Yeah. It bleeding, bleeding meters for sure. Uh, but Laggy Rock in second and Power 8 in first. So actually, Laggy Rock is, was first overall and Power 8 was second overall. But now it's going to be Power 8 stealing first place. Sending actually it's G Force in second behind Laggy Rock. I missed that. Um, and Ertsu in six trying to escape. Stingox has passed up Yun, but Yun with the shockwave, a battery play. Maddie trying to steal some positions out of nowhere, and he does steal one from Lampert. Um, so quite a finish that was. And no! Ertsu, what happened? We saw Ertsu fighting for podium almost, and he falls back all the way to 10th place by the end of it. Yes, and also what I have to mention from at least the three races that we had already, Jan is not looking good so far, it's too early mm. to say, but you know, like people that uh, actually uh, were flashing uh, in the first play day, Jan Makakowski early on, not having a good uh, play day today, and Powerade back to back winning the second and third race, so looking extremely strong. Uh, were you able? To, no, we weren't able to actually update the the table. Uh, no, I'm not because I export to Notepad, so like I can tell you what it is pretty oh. easily. But uh, so, Wait, so you, you, I can tell you, you yeah. Jan, uh, Jan, how many points? Yun is out in fifth with thirty-three, and uh, so oh wait, I, 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 can, I cannot, I cannot even edit. Okay, I need someone to edit it. Come on, guys, where is the editors? But Powery has broken away. Laggy Rock in second, G Force third. That's our podium. As we head into our next race, we see a Ponga out of Air Two, but he's starting in the back field. And Air Two is back on. It's it's called Panga, right? This car or. Yeah, Panga, yeah, Panga. Yeah. But we like to call it the Panga as well. It, it, it has a, a number of names. So why is this car actually good here? Because of his size? I don't know. That's a good question, man. That's a really good question. I'd say probably Hama Toyeka might be uh, marginally better. But uh, I think Air 2 can make it work, and he just wants to make it work. Sting! Going for a stop zap, something that we haven't seen a ton of. And he grabs the star, and he pops a battery as well. So he's going to be trying to find a good time to use the star right here. No, holds on to it, does end up using it. And so he's going to try to scoot by. Not quite, yeah, he passes up everybody. Uh, not quite everybody. The oil is going to be super impactful too. Laggy Rock, early lead, but he goes on the inside and runs straight into that oil and an unavoidable oil once you're already in the air. A couple people missing the jump. They're going to have to do a full repo and cars are going to be blocking each other too. Oh my, this is a mess. And Air 2 is going to say thank you very much. This is what I needed. This is just pure chaos going on right mm -hmm. now. And, and, are... and that, yeah, you got it, you got it. Go. So it, when you're talking about Yun underperforming so far, it, it really is the heart of the cards kind of situation at times. And we'll see if he's able to bring it back, but you can't judge it based off these first couple of races because you can see it's just absolute chaos. Who can harness the chaos the best? That person will win. Uh, but here on the early races, you can luck out and start an early lead just because you got lucky. So we'll see how it, it, this continues to develop. We are here on Botanical Garden 2. First place is Laggy Rock with a great lead, and he's just going to be adding more and more points 
to what's going to be first place for him overall if he finishes like this. Uh, big, big oil, going to catch a lot of people off guard. And I have to say that actually so far if uh, Power Day, uh, I mean Lagrid going to maintain his lead, I mean... Uh, Power, uh, Lagerik, Lagerik with two wins then, uh, Power Dead with two wins, so that's really strong, uh, showing strong in, the, in this play day. Yeah, Power Eight was someone that neither me nor you really talked about much at all. We might have mentioned his name, but we didn't really talk about him at all. Uh, but he has just been tearing up these pickups on races. Now we see him on our screen, and he's not doing great on Botanical Garden specifically. Um, but he's, uh, 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 until this race finishes, he's our current overall points lead. So definitely something to be said about what Power Eight is able to do so far. Yeah. We'll see how he does as our races continue. I'll say that much. We've got Ertsu in ninth with that Ponga, and we'll see how he does as well. Um, okay, another star out in the play. So, La Laggy Rock lapping now. So this is where Lagirak could actually lose some time, is getting caught up by the lappers. Yeah, that's actually... because there's no rule, right? Like, they cannot catch, uh, you know, catch I, him. I don't know! Uh, I think they're... How else yeah. can you not touch him? You would have to be invincible. Well, I think it's... I think they request you to not intentionally shoot lapping cars. I do think that is uh, part of it. Uh, might get a rule check here in the chat, uh, but I, I think that's right. Uh, and we are kind of watching backfield here for a bit. If we could, yeah, we uh, here we go. We're flipping up forward as we can see the finishes. Frost in second, uh, G Force with a battery, but Yun does as well. Who's just going to expire first? It looks like a good finish for Yun, and Yun finding fourth place. Just like we mentioned, this could be the start of something new for Yun. Oh Tom my Dom. god! Uh, unfortunately, oh. can't find the entryway. Oh, oh no! Oh no! And he, oh, lost, and he gets passed up by Lampert as well. He oh. lost two position of that. Oh. Like, come on! Ugh. How unlucky can be? But Lucky Rock oh, with a win and Power Eight on the 13. But still, like those players, like Lucky Rock and Power Eight are the players that won two races so far. So I still think I string a strong showing. I'm still asking for some permission so I could actually manually myself update the table so we could show you the live tables uh every everyone uh, so far only honk is keeping keeping up so what what is i the... wish i knew yeah i can tell you right now i wish i knew more stuff about tech i might be able to help so what is that the top three right uh, now i'm updating right now we are here with botanical garden getting updated and it looks like laggy rock 71 points first place by a pretty large margin power eight 56 G Force 53 and Yun and Nick 54 or 46 44. Uh, so three points, uh, four points, two points. It, our points are still neck and neck. Our top five, once again, for you Laggy Rock, Power 8, G Force, Yun, and Nick. So Yun has put in some insane recovery work. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I... Air Tsunama, Air Tsunama, noticeably near the bottom, both of our Finnish brothers. Come on, I put Erzo in the top three. Come mm, on, that was a risky choice, Terry. That was a risky, risky. I always choice. follow my heart. Yeah, I I'll always follow that. my heart. But <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> I mean, my good. heart. Honestly, if I good. if I truly followed my heart, I would pick Powerade when I didn't do it. So I think mean, it was a mixed <laughs> mixed feeling. I I know. And Lampert, how is Lampert doing? Uh, Lampert is actually last place overall. He's in 20th. Okay, uh, so we changed it. Uh, we actually predicted top 20. three bottom. So you predicted the bottom, yeah, top three, but on opposite day. Okay, and let's see. Rooftops now. Yeah, and Rooftops is, like I said in the track previews, Rooftops is pretty much our widest track. Um, so, we do have some blind turns, we're definitely going to have some oil woes like we do on every single track, um, but this one should be a bit more about the pickups like rockets, shockwaves, that type deal. Frost doing some circus acrobatics uh, thanks to some rockets, he recovers from that rocket as well, I think that was from Maddie. But he, the track, the the track boss outplays him there, and he falls back to ninth, tenth area. 
so we see a whole line of cars oh, all the way to Nick, third fourth with a beautiful, beautiful battery yeah. <laughs> and I feel like this map is actually the best for the batteries because a lot of straight lines yes. open spaces yes. so it's really easy it is actually from my observation elevation to easy use the battery here good analysis yeah and we see BGM continuing to cycle uh, looking for some things to throw on the track, maybe get himself a battery, uh, grab himself something. I actually don't even know if you can get a battery in first place, but he's going to be cycling. Um, Maddie, who we haven't talked about a ton, is sitting in fourth, uh, but he's got a whole gang of Toyekas and Hamas that are chasing him down. Uh, so we'll see Ama is going for some unusual routing just for a pickup. That's how much some of these racers are valuing pickups. We see a much more aggressive stance to cycling, a much more aggressive stance to going out of your way to pick up these pickups. Ama going to be rewarded with a bomb for his troubles. We'll see if he can pass that. And let's see, Lagirok actually in the 11, Ooh. the last winner yeah. of the race. Erzu. Runs head first into his app too. Lampert, come on, Lampert is on the 14th place. Erzu, come on, what is happening with my top three? There's a big crowd here in the backfield, so they have a lot of chances to pass up a number of people. One battery could put in a ton of work if it's not responded to. Uh, Kilabaris passing one. Yun, we see Yun on the outside as well. The first fighting in the middle pack. Eighth place. Yeah, if we could get upfield a bit as Jerome was doing, excellent. BGM Power 8, Makakoski. So, Power 8, sitting pretty. A second place finish for him would be great. 20 points added to his uh, total balance. Laggy Rock has passed up a lot of people to find ninth place, uh, squeezing by seemingly out of nowhere. Yuen doing some recovery work. That was a nice jump, actually, missing that ball, uh, jumping over that ball. Barely. Yeah. Barely. Only one lap to go, more. And I have power that Power is doing so good in that session so far. Again, in a top three. G yeah, for yeah, struggling. Power eight. Like, yeah, exactly. Laggy Rock trying to hold on, but... Not, oh, and there's a battery for our Ponga. Let's see what he can do with it. This isn't the most ideal spot for it, but he doesn't have a lot to do to work on, and uh, he's got to try to keep cycling for pickups. How can you have a dark skin in a dark map? I think it's so hard to, to drive a dark car here. <laughs> a lot of people like those black skins because they kind of mask the bomb. Like you can pass off the bomb to people and people are like they don't they didn't even realize you had a bomb. That happens with the Hama black skin a lot, so I think that's why people opt for that one for sure. Oh and Erzo in the last. Come on Erzo. Ding and Frost fighting for the back. Yeah, it's just rough, rough situation. So BGM winning. D race. A lot of people yeah, catching okay. up. Seeing how it finishes out, yeah, it, not much room to work with. It is just going to be Ama uh, fifth, Laggy Rock, Laggy Rock seventh out of nowhere. Whoa, uh, that's going to be a, a very useful for Laggy Rock as far as holding on to that first place goes. Uh, and some very poor finishes from Sting, who was one of my predictions, as well as Frost. The Frost. As I tend to say, he's been pretty quiet in this race okay. uh, so far. So right now, give me a small break. Let me just move the scene. Let's just update the table, okay? So dictate me Excellent. who has how many points Yan for the starter. How many points has Yan? Yan, 54. 54. Frostbitten. A 36. 36. 36 Frostbitten? Okay, G-Force. Um, 60. 60. Erzu. Uh, 25. 25, okay. Ama. The 32. 32, okay. Makakowski. 51. 51. Kilabarus. Uh, 36. 36. Lampert. 25. 25. Power 8. He's probably in the lead. Power 8 is second. 
four points behind Laggy Rock. He's got 76. 70, uh, 76. Six. Okay, St Sting yeah. Ox. Uh, Sting with 37. 30, 37. Okay, Kiki. Um, Kiki's not here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kiki is not here. Laggy Rock. 80. 80. Tom Dom. 35. 35. Nick. 48. 48. Matty. 41. 41. And BGM. 64. 64. Let me check how to actually segregate it. Uh, it's like we're playing a playing a mini game. Okay, wait. Uh, oh wait, no, not like this. Uh, okay, but did I do it correctly? Okay, wait. Let me see if I if the update is gonna work. Oh, uh, guys, don't race this fast. Come on, I'm not really racing. I need to stop racing so fast. Yeah, yeah, they they've they've gone on leading as we headed to lap two. Sorry y'all, getting us up ahead here. Front three, power eight, once again, we got a new face in Maddie and also a new face in Frostbitten, who has really not been able to make uh, much happened so far. Uh, Yuan in third, our current overall leader. He's trying to make some things happen, but he can't manage to pass on that bomb. The star gonna come out. And Laggy Rock! Again! Laggy Rock Power 8! People... Okay, look. People keep saying, people are like, oh, pickups, oh, pickups, pickups, uh, blah, blah. But Laggy Rock and Power 8, they've been first and second over and over and over again in today's session. Over and over again. Uh, so explain that one. You can't. I can I can uh, explain it. The the revolt yes. the, the revolt gods are on the side today. Oh, the gods, of course. Okay, so I had, I didn't consider that. I was mostly relying on uh, things like math and science. So <laughs> that actually clears it up entirely for me. Um, and we do have our front four still, though. This isn't locked down for Power 8. We said he was out in the lead, but now it is Laggy Rock. And we've actually got Power 8 falling down to third and getting caught up, more importantly, getting caught up in this mix of players. Okay, so uh, re request to the host of the lobby just to give us a small break to show the table. Come on, guys, let's not rush through. I'll mention that. I'll through, mention through that, that uh, play day so we can actually consume and enjoy it. But let's see. Four laps so far. Akakowski, Laggy Rock, Laggy Rock the lead. Uh, not in the lead. The second who is in the lead, though. Oh. Hey, I think it's... Is it Laggy Rock? I thought it was Laggy Rock out in first. Um, but, yeah. Uh, let's flip forward a little bit if possible. Good, good, good. Sting with the battery trying to catch up Makakoski. Indeed, he does. Yeah. Hits him with the rocket as well. Uh, Frost is in second. And I do think that's Laggy Rock still out in first. Yeah, it's really, really nice session from him today. Frost, it is! Frost also... In the top three. It's not been great for Frost, so this is good for him. I think he had a good rooftops as well. Uh, so this could be the start of what Frostbitten needs to happen. Uh, as The oil evaporating right under Matty, Ertsu, and Kila. Ertsu still on that Ponga. Um, so good luck for them. And uh, Nick, BGM are going to be sharing the backfield today uh, in Toy World. Makakasi going to go for a wall ride to try to uh, negate the forces of that bomb. It didn't completely work out, but good attempt there, Makakoski. I saw it for one. Uh, Ertsu in seventh. Uh, all things considered, seventh with the Ponga in Division One. That to me is absurd. Uh, he's in fact in sixth right now. I think as we finish up, Laggy Rock. It is going to be Laggy Rock Frost. Maybe Sting. They both catch the oil. Everybody catching the oil. Uh, zap for Ama. He's going to pass up one. And Yuen, not the greatest finish. Makakoski got passed up by so many people there at the end, I think. And Power 15th! Whoa! 
We saw Powerade in second. We thought Powerade. Whoa, <laughs> Powerade 15. Powerade has dropped down. This is me okay. hit or miss. It feels like like for those players, but Lucky Rock, he won, right? So he's like plus 25 points. He's getting really yeah. really strong. So okay, let's update the tables. Lucky Rock will now be with 105. Powerade with how many points? Uh, let me get that updated. Okay. Give us a moment, guys. Let's just, you know, like, we're gonna try to update the table, talk a little bit about what happened. But Lucky Rock really is showing strong. Power 8, uh, actually, he's either, like, winning or just being at the bottom, literally, here. GeForce. So, I can tell you. Okay, okay, so uh, go. Power 8. Can, can I do the name? Yeah, Power 8, 77. Yes. It... Uh, GeForce, 73. Uh, 73, okay. BGM, 70. 70, okay. Jan? 63. 63. Makakowski? 58. 58. Nick? 56. 50. Oh, no, Frost is 56. Frost, 56. And Nick? Uh, Nick is 52. Okay, Matty? 46. Okay, Stink? 53. 53. Uh, Kila Barris? 44. Okay, Tom Dam. 38. Okay, Ama. 43. Uh, 43. Erzu. 35. 35. And Lampert. 27. 27. Oh my God. Lampert. So we've seen BGM now claiming fourth place, moving up in our standings. A string of good races for him, and uh, we'll see if he's able to keep adding to that. Power 8 has gotten closer uh, to G-Force and to BGM. Only seven points from BGM, four from G-Force. Uh, Makakoski, 58. Frost, 56. Now, Frost was near the bottom. So, it, Frost has had some good races in a row. If he can keep that's the table together. So, that's the table. There we go. So far. There we go. Laggy Rock in the lead. So, power the GeForce. Uh, yeah, GeForce, that has my pick for the top three. So, I'm only hitting one for now. But Lagirok in a really huge lead right now. He is just rocking that session. Yeah. Okay, I think we're ready for the next race. The next race is going to be Ghost Town, if I see correctly. Ghost Town 1. Hank? Hank? Yeah, it is. we are here with Ghost Town 1. Um... And this is a track, uh, I think Ghost Town 1 Reverse is actually blacklisted on, on IO. Uh, it's one of the only blacklisted stock tracks, as far as I'm aware. Um, and that could have been updated, but and it's just so detrimental with the oils and stuff. Now, the non-reverse is what we're racing on today, and uh, we see a lot less of that, but it's still there. It's still going to be absolute man. Okay, let's see how... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna be looking at Powerade, how he does in this session, because he needs to catch up with the Laggy Rock if he wants to win for the for the win on the on the play day. On that turn. Laggy Rock has needed this. Uh, Laggy Rock has... I, I've been commentating events with Laggy Rock in it for a while, and he has not had a big finish in a bit. And so a first place finish for him on stock pros, stock tracks, he would love this. Uh, so I am i can't help but root for him. And I put him in my top three as well. So there's that element as well. Uh, we see Sting has not been able to make a whole lot of stuff work. One of my other predictions as we see him continuing to fall back. Lampert, who was in last place overall, he is going to run straight into that oil by, I think a lot of people are going to hit that oil. And uh, our observer doing good work at showing exactly how every single person in the lobby is hitting that oil. Thank you, Jerome, our spectator for today. A huge shout out to him once again. That was a brutal oil, like, and it was like a double or triple oil. Uh, thank you, Ryal. So, Ghost Town Reverse actually got unblacklisted, notably. But... So, what is happening right now? Just some rockets, just a, okay, triple oil, it's going to hit everybody, and this is the kind of situation that creates massive gaps in the race line, because the people towards the front, 
they might not have ran into that at all. In fact, they might have been the ones that created that three-way oil. Uh, so they might have to deal with it on the next lap, but so... I think it should <laughs> evaporate by then. Yeah, he's not able to make it work with the Cougar. He's trying his best, though. <laughs> but still, showing some love to me, I guess, with the Cougar pick. But Lucky Rock, <laughs> but Lucky Rock is leading yet again. Okay. And I think he he might even break a record for single races won in a single session. Like, come on. It would be like four wins. Seriously, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, we talked about how, you know, you pickups this, pickups that, but in a pickups on race, we may see some of the most wins out of one person that we've ever seen. Uh, and we see the huge oils coming out once again. Laggy Rock not going to be able to avoid that one. And it does look like he's not in first, he is in third, uh, second, that is, trying to catch G Force, I think that was. So. Uh, and G-Force, I think that's just that's him up there, just barely in view, maybe. Um, but a huge midfield, a huge midfield, putting serious pressure on uh, the podium. But Frost with a uh, zap going to be impacting that quite heavily. And our three-way fight for second is on. Makakoski getting spun out there. Jan finally showing up a little bit. <laughs> They're in the top six fighting for the win. And there's Powery. He recovered. So Powery he recovered. back some more. Ah. He was the last. I want to... That, that was actually insane by Kilabaris with the battery. Grabs on to the side of the wall to instantly pull himself down and keep getting effects out of that battery. A, a whole bunch of zaps are coming out. Uh, Sting going to be catching BGM as well with that zap. And a G-Force first. Laggy Rock second. I'm curious who's going to get that third. Uh, trying to make our way through. Power 8 in fourth out of nowhere. Power 8, he ends up in fifth. Makakasi Kila able to pass. Uh, but And look at everyone finishing at the exact same time. Uh, we literally, I was looking at that battle for fourth, fifth, and then all of a sudden, seventh place all the way down to like 10th finishes at the same exact time. <laughs> Ama, come on. <laughs> Hitting it down. Yeah, poor Ama. Poor Ama, poor Ama. This is for making those changes so hard, Ama. This is karma. <laughs> I'm just joking, but. <laughs> Again, really strong race from Lagirok. G-Force taking that win away from Lagirok. That would that would yeah. put Lagirok on three wins so far in that session, if I count correctly. Uh, honestly, the next track gonna be in the Toilet World 2. I think we're gonna update the table after that race, so we're actually gonna yeah, gonna yeah. gonna keep the the smooth races. And we're gonna count the 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 points after that race. So toy toy world two, what we can expect from this? Um, this track has that Hot Wheels style border on the left and right sides, kind of like when you're bowling. It's got the you got the lanes up, um, and so we're gonna see a lot of people manipulating that. Uh, for wall rides to go faster, uh, but we're also going to see people manipulating it by putting oils on it. Uh, and so it's just going to be a mix of that. We might see some people get hit with, we are headed into our next race, but for example, uh, shock waves, rockets, water balloons, if you can hit them right, you can send people off the, off the road, basically off the track. And so that's going to be very important as well. So ice will be for sure on the laggy rock here if he maintains his lead. Where is he? Erzu again on the cougar. Come on, Erzu. Don't give up. I know you know I know the cougar is the best car, but play for the win. You're in my top three <laughs> as well. Yeah. And BGM on that Hama, he's try he slows down, passes the bomb on, holds on to second. That's a lot of people in the top six fighting. Lamprey mm. getting the short stick. Ooh, I like that little cinematic shot for a moment there, but uh, we are headed straight back into the overview. Matty, Matty07 is our current track leader. He definitely has not had a win so far. Ertsu and the Cougar dodging the oils, dodging the bombs. Oh, a shockwave going to hit him. A reverse shockwave. That might have been Kila. He's trying to catch people with a zap as well. He catches one. And more zaps coming out. Uh, because of... Um, well, it, 
regardless, there's a big grouping here of racers. Those zaps going to be very impactful as we see them caught on the upward slope. Look at how many players are caught up together. Six to eight, just tied up. Uh, arms are tied. We'll see. Just hoping for a shockwave, hoping for a zap. There it goes. <laughs> and not only hoping to zap, but hoping to break away with it, which I'm not sure is what actually happened. Um, this is such a bad thing to be in this, like group of players racing like imagine the, the guy in the first place he's like okay guys have fun have fun he loves it yeah first place is loving this because it's absolute chaos and it's dragging everyone back maddie uh who has not had a finish before if we could go back towards the front field we just see the air two dropping down in the cougar um it, it, out in last play and power eight as well good job catching power eight Power 8 sitting in 11th, so Power 8 going to be continuing to drop down. I'm wondering where G-Force is in this mix. He first um, was uh, on the back. I think he was on the last place okay. of Erzo. Okay. So uh, BGM, Lampert, and Matty is our front three. BGM, we mentioned BGM snuck into fourth place right under our nose. And so we might see him continuing to grab positions. I can't understate it enough. With the MotoGP point scoring system, if you finish that podium, you get a massive chunk of points, especially first second. They just get an insane amount of points. And so BGM can keep locking in good races like that. As we see Air2 trying to do some recovery work in the Cougar, uh, that's going to be great for BGM. In the meantime, Laggy Rock unable to find another first. He's currently sitting in about sixth place, but Power 8 in 12th. G-Force one ahead of him in 11th. Laggy Rock is sitting pretty once again. He's going to continue to break away, continue oh, to make a stronger first unlucky. place. Uh, Marty winning. I think he was last, uh, last the previous race, and now he's winning this one. Indeed, was it, indeed. Ama? Matty. This is, and Lampert as well. I think Lampert got second or third there. Uh, so that's great for him. Uh, Sting sliding by as well with the... We, uh, G Force 11th. So people finishing Power 8 12. So this is kind of not good for him. And Nick on the last or Frost on the last. So okay, let's now count the points. This was a really interesting race. I want to see where is actually Laggy Rock standing on, especially and uh, with Power 8, because. I can get that pulled up. GeForce also, I think he won uh, before the count. He won one of the races. Now he was kind of in the middle of the pack. So okay, let's go. Lucky Rock with how many points? We got Lucky Rock. Okay, let's see the updated scoreboard here. We have Lucky Rock one thirty-five. Okay, Power Eight. Ninety. Ninety. Okay, GeForce. One hundred four. Whoa, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. BGM. Mm hmm. BGM 87. 87 Yun. 75. 75 Makakowski. 87. 87 Frostbitten. 72. 72 Stink. 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 Yeah, Stink. 79. 79. Nick. 58. 8 Matty. 75. 5 Kilobarus. 64. Or Ama? Uh, Ama is 52. Okay, Tum Dum. Uh, let's look. 44. 44, Erzu. 42. Uh, uh, that should be our standing. Sorry, I got a little distracted looking at chat. Yes, uh, Chilean Civil War and breaking out here. Lampert. I will, we will... Uh, sorry, yes. 56 Lampert. 56. Okay, I'm just going to update it. Yeah. We're going to check the tables and you're going to move to the to do another race just once. Excellent. So while you're doing that, uh, two notable people moving up in our rankings. We've got Makakoski now challenging BGM for fourth. And we've also got Sting, who has moved up a lot in these rankings. Meanwhile, Yun and Frostbitten dropping down a bit. Maddie with that first place. He's going to pass up both of those racers. And um, yeah, there's our live standings for you right there. Yeah, Power 8 kind of, kind of having a rough Two previous races, he didn't gain mm. a lot of points. I think he got, got like only twenty points in two races, so not the best. But and and, and Makakowski BGM only three points behind. I will say. Yes. Wait, wait, Makakowski, how many points? 
87. They both have 87. Ah, yeah, so yeah. they're only three points behind Power 8 ah, yeah, yeah. for that third place. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And three points is basically nothing for reference. And we all know they have uh, the race. Basically rise. nothing. Let's go. We're already, yeah, we're already headed. And we see Power 8 going for the star. We got there just in time. Uh, we do see Power 8 grabbing the star out. He uh, sacrifices. Uh, everything, but he was already out there in last place, so he just gets to pull back a little bit and grab the star right away before anyone else is able to catch it out in the front. Um, but looking further upfield, we saw Air 2 in fifth, maybe. Um, Kila is leading, Laggy Rock is in third, uh, Nick in second. So, good races for Nick and Kila so far. They definitely would like a podium position, they need it desperately. Uh, meanwhile, Laggy Rock with the podium of his own, just to keep adding insult to injury here, just ranking up the points, racking up the points, um, and we'll see if he manages to break away from the field once again, like he's been able to previously. Ertu in fourth on your favorite, the Cougar. And beautiful oil, and er beautiful oil. That's gonna hit everybody. Ertu is proving that it's not about the ride; it's about the driver. <laughs> hey, that's right. Getting stabbed with that Kurger. And Laggy Rock right. top 3. Chasing Nick. Ersu behind on the 4th. So let's see how Laggy Rock will do here. And the bridge jump, and he nails it. Laggy Rock is just on one today, and he's even going to pass up Nick on the inside. I mean, he is going to get hit by those water balloons. Recovery. Ooh, Drops the oil. zap. Mm, beautiful oil. Water balloons not collect it, connecting. Laggy Rock trying to break away. He's not going to be able to. And Nick getting a nice little bomb. Is it actually uh, Laggy Rock. better yeah. to, to ride like Nick or jump over that obstacle as... Uh... It's it's arguable. It's it's debatable. Um, I personally go to the left. But the nice part about going in for that middle jump is you don't have any blind oils. And uh, the grass is very uh, tough to drive on, so it's tough to avoid those oils if you connect with them. And Laggy Rock, I don't know if you noticed that, but Laggy Rock using the uh, the underpants, that is the start line, to ricochet a rocket off to try to hit Nick behind him. Yeah, uh, so I didn't even know you could, I thought that was an invisible object, or like an object insane. that you could shoot through. So that was a ridiculous play. We also had some crazy stuff going on on the screen while I was saying that. So apologies for that, but I wanted to bring attention to that. They're trying to get through a double oil there on that diagonal passway, and G-Force not able to whip it through that. Um, positions have gotten swapped up a little bit. We see, I think another, is that Power 8? Um... I think that might have been power eight up up further up field. Laggy Rock got hit on the cross, and Laggy Rock loses all of his lead. Alma has found everything, and he's got a battery. Oh, and that was he does a nice get hit run. by the rockets. Mm. And the cycle continues. We'll see what they're able to find. Alma has a new pickup. It's rockets. And Laggy Rock responding with rockets of his own. War has broken out. Power eight was in third there. Okay, Power 8 versus Laggy Rock. Power 8 needs these points. Kila Bars has to be like the happiest player right now. He is such a huge lead, lead in the first place. I don't have to for, face all those weapons. Yeah, Kila Bars is loving it. He's had a, a tough race so far. As It's not been horrible. He's been midfield, but he wants more for sure. Air 2, ooh, I hate to see. And we do see a little bridge jump compilation coming out. And guess what? Oops, all fails. Everybody is failing that bridge jump. That, uh, this that is saw. such it's a tough, good no. oil. That oh yeah. There. Oh yeah. Maddie gonna go for it. Not gonna connect. Gets uh, traps up a Lampert in it as well. Yun in 14th, trying to find some positions. He started out strong. He's first place overall in the division. But um, if he can't find some positions and find them right now, he's gonna be dropping down for sure. Um, we do see the finishes coming out. Laggy Rock beating out Ama. Actually. Yeah, did, we did finish. We did finish. Uh, Frost, another pretty quiet race. Just midfield, chillin'. Makikoski. G-Force trying to pass with the battery, and he does! I think he did. I think he did. Sting! Grabbing two positions there at the very end, too! Okay. Oh. And Yun, last place. Not the position that Yun wants to be in. Yeah, but I have to say that also a strong finish by Laggy Rock, so he kind of maintains his position as a leader of this play day, finishing in the third place. 
Jan last. Kind of rough race. So we have Lampert four teams. Come on, my top three. G4 seven. Erzo 11. Lampert 14. Kilabar is winning. Nick second. Nick. Nick showing up. Finally. Yeah, Nick. We need, we desperately have been looking for that. Um, I can't help but root for Nick. He's a commentator with me sometimes. And uh, I've been rooting for him a little bit, but it's tough. He's just been struggling. Um, and uh, I will say Duck saying, uh, Honk thinks underwear has no collision. Shout out, Duck. Uh, so we are, I'm going to pull up the standings for us. Um, do we want to wait one more track before we add them, or how do you want to do it? Let's go on with another track, and we're going to update the... Okay. Because, wait, okay. Toytanic is the last? What is the last? No, no, no. We've got some tracks. Um, Toytanic 2 is the last. Yes, yeah, so, so we've got Toytanic 1. we still got we're gonna, a lot. Yeah, so yeah. we're sure that we're going to have a break uh, on the Ghost 2 Town and Toytanic 2. So we have, like, live tables. But for now, we can go. We can go with another one. Yeah, and notably G with the overtake by less than 0.1 of a second. Uh, Laggy Rock has completely broken away, I will say. He's got like 40 points to his name almost over second place. Uh, Powerade is sitting in third, but BGM is only two points behind him. Uh, so that's our top four. Laggy Rock, G4, Powerade, BGM, Makakoski in fifth as we head into our first of the Toy Tanks. Um... Titanic, loved by some, hated by most, <laughs> uh, and <laughs> it's got it's got a lot of straightaways. So this will be great for the Ponga. It would be great for the Cougar as well. Um, but uh, Air Two opting for the Ponga, and um, there's a couple diagonal jumps through narrow corridors that are very important. It's actually and it's also the captain quarter. Is it actually worth jumping over the pool? <gasps> No, 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 no. Uh, some people might go for something called a chair skip, but that's only if you're a crazy person because it saves you almost nothing and <laughs> has so much risk. Uh, in the meantime, I think we saw Laggy Rock zapping like everybody and, and running into first place on like the first turn of Toy Tannic. Um, Eyes might have been playing tricks on me, but we can't get too excited yet. The star comes out. We don't know who grabbed that. Who is breaking away? It is Kilabaris who's breaking away. Laggy Rock does not connect with the missile either, so Laggy Rock was out there in the lead, but it's now going to be Kilabaris. Laggy Rock going to be more than happy with second place. More than happy with second place. I'm sure he wants first, but he's got to be happy with this. Oil's coming out. We saw two laid next to each other, and that's a blind turn. Going to be catching some people off who were unfortunately backfield. Oh, BGM just catching that bomb. That was mm. so unfortunate. This is not a good. This is not a good Humma track, I think, because of all the straightaways. Uh, Toyeka has that great top speed. In fact, Duck even mentioning Yeka still faster, even on a track like this, still going to be faster than the Cougar or than the Panga. Uh, and so I think Toyeka will definitely have the edge over Hama here on the Toy Tanics. In fact, we might see people swap for it, but I have to stop talking because we see the oil coming out in that captain's quarters area. It's so effective. It sends everybody having to do a full repo and it makes these front drivers get that much more breathing room. Tom Dom, G-Force fighting it out for fourth. I have to say that this track is kind of boring. I mean, so many straight lines, hard to fight her, but I think that Kilabars is leading, right? So he's really comfortable. Yeah, I'd like to flip up a little bit if we can. We do see BGM in uh, sixth, Yun now in sixth, and we are hopefully... Oh, that was nice by Yun. <laughs> yeah, dodging that ball. Uh, but Duck bring up, uh, once again, another really good point. The middle part of this track is quite technical. Uh, so that is where Hummer could start to shine. But in these straightaways, it's all Toyeka. First place by Laggy Rock by 75 meters, relegating Kilobaris to that second place. I feel, I feel it's like top three is just set here. There need to be Laggy Rock, Kilobaris, just huge leads between them. Tom Dom with really Tom nice. Dom, another battery. He's going to be skating by into third place. Stingox is our resident uh, pickup cycler. He loves cycling pickups, and he's going to do it right there, even connecting with Tom Dom. That was a beautiful rocket. I have rocket. no clue how he hit that rocket, man, but he did. And so uh, G-Force is now going to continue his duel with Tom Dom, an organic star coming out. Ertsu taking a dip in the Ponga. Ponga overheating there for a moment, but he will get it 
some much needed hydration. He's going to be on his way. And, uh, the gap has been closed quite drastically, but not enough time to work with. Kilo Bar is By the way, are there like speed runners on the map with like self and uh, car classes? Uh, what do you mean by I that? I mean like top, top, top record, I mean like the fastest lap, the fastest lap. Yes, yes, yes. So, who, who's like, who holds the record for this map with the fastest lap though? That's a good question. I would say Famous would have a lot of these records, but we also have time trawlers here in Division 1. Uh, Kiki, um, Nick is a time trawler, I think uh, Frost is a time trawler, uh, I believe Ertsu Ama time trial as well so there's a lot of people who could potentially be, okay let's see uh, first laggy place. rock first kilobar second b first third so laggy rock with yet another win power eight unfortunately again kind of uh yeah. slow 11th yeah, nick was also strong and now 10th so and erzu erzu is having a rough 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 session i have to say and i picked him for the free come on erzu <laughs> Now, uh, I will say um, BGM might be falling back behind Makakoski, and in fact, Makakoski might even be passing up Laggy or uh, Power 8. So let's see. Let's get those scores yeah, updated. Let's get the points and tell me when you're sure. ready so we can re Ready. Okay, so Laggy Rock? Uh, 176. 176. Oh my god. 3-4s? 129. Uh, power 8? 105. 105. BGM? 105. 105. Makakowski. 103. That's really close. Stink. 97. 97. Jan. 85. 85. Matty. 86. 86. Okay. Frost. 84. 84. Kila Bars. Our new third place, Kila Bars with 109. Yeah, he had a really strong two races. So, okay. yeah. Nick? Nick? Nick, 84. 84. Lampert? 60. 60. Ama? 68. 68. Tom Dom? 61. And uh, Ertu? 48. 48. Okay. Thank you all for working with us while we do this manually. It's not ideal, but we're getting it worked out here, and it is laggy rock. Yeah, we just tried to get you the, the, the... We unfortunately don't have a person that could do it like behind the scenes live. So we have to do it yeah. ourselves. It yeah. is what it is, but yeah, still has to be information out there. But so yeah, lag rock, huge lead, huge, 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 huge lead. Yes, I mean it's not a foregone conclusion. Things could happen, but with laggy rock being as consistent of a player as he is, I fully expect. I'm saying it now. I fully expect laggy rock to lock down a uh, first place. Um, I feel like we're gonna see some some mayhem though. On the so next we track. have like what we have uh, one, two, three, four races yet to go. So a hundred points to grab. It feels like Laggy Rock can actually just finish four times like tenth, and he would still win it. And <laughs> and G four and yeah. G force would literally need to win like three races mm -hmm. to catch up mm -hmm. with him. Like it's such a huge lead. It just. I don't want to jinx anything, but come on, lads. It's huge. I, I also want to bring attention to the battle for third. Uh, Kila Baris, Power 8, BGM, Makakoski, all within just a couple of points of each other. And Sting is there in seventh place. And I've got to tell you, Sting is going to be like a shark for some of these drivers because uh, Duck put it well once again. He's only seventh place in a pickups on lobby. That's not expected at all. We are hopping right into our next race. But just to say it again, uh, Sting is a power-ups god, uh, and so to see him so close to so many people, my prediction is that he's going to end up passing up every single one of them by the end of the race, uh, and we could see him get all the way up to third, fourth, um, from seventh. But we'll have to, he'll have to earn it. We're here on Museum. This is the epitome of chaos. Uh, if you don't know what chaos is, you look it up in a dictionary, um, there's a good chance a pretty good chance that a photo of that dinosaur is going to be there. Yeah, I hate this um, track. I honestly hate this <laughs> track. It's just so... <sighs> the oils are out. The zaps are out. Frost bitten in second place doing great work. And it looks like, okay, yeah, uh, third place make that. He's trying to catch people with a zap. Instead, he gets an oil for his troubles, and that catches Makakoski as well. And can we just highlight that for a moment? Because that might have 
gone unnoticed very easily. But Laggy Rock just completely decimated his the, the second and third place that were right behind him. And he even added another oil and cut, uh, I think he caught uh, Makakoski with that one. So Laggy Rock single handedly creating so much space. Uh, between the field because of his pickup usage and how effective it was. Now we see Makakosti. I do believe he chained a couple of batteries together, so he's getting bailed out in a big way. Uh, but he can't land the drop down because of that battery. So Frost bitten holding on to second. Oh, that's a bomb. But lucky drop. And he's got a zap. He runs into oncoming traffic with it as well, just to hit some extra people with it. I think this is like Makikoski. probably the worst uh, uh, section of the map where you drive, you know, people just drive I into each other. You know, like when you have the reverse there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, the oncoming traffic is just a nightmare for so many of these racers. A laggy rock! Oh my! Okay, he does. He did have a battery queued up. I thought he would just go for the drop down repo uh, and then dr and then pop the battery, but he is just going to pop the battery there to. Uh, counterplay Nyx, and that's something that I wanted to bring to attention. He got knocked out of first place. Frost and Nick both passed him up, but now uh, chaining two batteries back to back. The first one to get rid of the zap, the second one to add some space towards Frost, and Frost does not nail that landing. Lagro, so it is just, he, I'm so impressed by him this session. Like he's so mm -hmm. consistent, so strong here. Like what is going on? Yeah. Yeah, he's making it work now. Frost did have a zap, so he caught him there at the end. And Maddie had a star. He picks up a star. That star went unnoticed for a long time. Yun in fourth. This is going to be good for him. He even passes on the bomb. Uh, Laggy Rock is now our first place driver. Uh, Nick has bailed out. I'm not sure what happened. Frost getting caught underneath the tables. Oh my, oh my. Okay, he gets spun around with some uh, explosions as well. Fourth place, and he where's goes the on the star? Other side. Where's to find the star, pickups. Matty? Where's the star? He could just be holding it for a specific spot. You you would rather use the star when you're the people you're chasing down are on an upslope, so they start rolling down. He might be holding on to it just like that. Oh, and the perfect example right in front of our eyes. Nick just can't make his way all the way up, and uh, there's Matty trying to scoop up some positions, but that oil is not going to be getting anything with that one gonna try to um and who do we need to be watching right now right we've got G uh, we got g-force on our radar yes. he's trying to hold on to second place he's out in like seventh eighth right now he had a uh, zap caught a bunch of people with that um but uh, laggy rock 100 200 meters out in the lead he's already done yun is going to snag second we'll see if he holds on to it as frost and nick Continue to battle it out, running into the oil, and there's a spike strip too. And oh, Frost having to repo on the stairs, that's going to be a nightmare for Frost. How does he emerge like that? I have no idea how he found that line, but he did. He's not going to be able to beat Nick with it, but at least he doesn't lose any positions. Sting getting an alright finish, Makakasi popping the battery, he barely beats out Tom Dom. <laughs> Lampert. Oh, Lampert, 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 Lampert saying, get me off the screen, <laughs> get me off the screen. Yeah, but... I don't, don't show me. But Laggy Rock, yet another win. Jan, yeah. finally showing up as well. Second place, BTM mm -hmm. third, Nick four, so he's cons uh, trying to stay consistent in like this top six finishes. G4 seven from the highlights, Lampert, unfortunately, and Erzu. Come on, guys! What is happening with those last places? Ugh. Especially Erzo having having a Ugh. really rough, 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 rough session. Yeah, yeah. Kilabaris um, so. had a nice race as well, and he finished 13. So. That's right. Kilabaris needs to be on our radar because he took third briefly, but I will say BGM just took it back with a great finish there on Museum. BGM is now going to be our third place with 121. Um, Kilobars, a respectable fourth, but he's only three points ahead of Makakoski and only two points ahead of Power 8, one point ahead of Stingox, and two more points ahead of Yun. So uh, these, this battle for fourth is very much still heating up. Kilobars, Makakoski, Power 8, Stingox, Yun, yeah. all in that bro. So we have three races left. We've got Supermarket, Ghost, and Titanic. Okay. So we're going to go with the Supermarket, and then we're going to update the tables yeah. to see what's, what's left for the... Second to last and the last race. Sounds good. So if we're ready, we can go with the third map. 
And we are headed in. He, the question is like Lagirok is just so impressive. He won like four or five races this session. Insane. Insane. Huge showing from him. Definitely seeming like he's worlds apart from the other racers. Uh, and this has not been the position for Laggy Rock uh, in the last couple of times I've done commentary with Laggy Rock in a match. He's not been able to find glory, let's say, especially not this sort of glory. Um, so Makakoski leading the charge, but he's got a bomb, so things are going to continue to get switched up. Stingox with the Hummer, uh, that oil going to try to avoid it, but he can't. Ertsu with the Cougar out in fifth. Will he be able to hold on to it? And the Zap, or the Star comes out. A couple people did have a battery ready by the looks of it. Um, Ertsu again with the Cougar. Come on. Oh, wait, 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 where did he went? Some shortcut? I missed it. I missed it. Um, chat having a discussion about Laggy Rock right now. And uh, I would agree. There's been some serious uh, skill expression from Laggy Rock uh, in pickups and in, in just pure driving ability. So, um, Stingox was one of those people trying to climb up in the rankings, but he's middle of the pack right now. Um, we are headed into lap three, so this race is ending before it even began, basically. Power 8, a super strong first place. Uh, Laggy Rock and Lampert fighting for second. Laggy Rock is going to be more than content with a second place finish, but as they spike strip each other once again, uh, that is going to allow a bunch of faces into this race, faces that Laggy Rock probably doesn't want to see. Uh, Nick and Frostbitten have just been mounting a, the, a comeback of the century here. The two of them neck and neck for so many races. Uh, Nick is going to try to pull out with the battery, and it looks like they'll be able to do so. Lampert, Lampert. for a change in a second place. Yeah. Power 8 in the lead also for a change. He hits an oil and blows up, though, during the drop-down shortcut. So that's going to be Laggy Rock training a rocket on him. Hits him, and the pass. Now, when Lagirok sees that there's a hundred meters, how do you go there? Right, right. It's just defensive work at this point. Uh, Lampert really trying to hit with that uh, zap there on the U-turns, and it was a, a brilliant uh, idea uh, because you do have to slow down for those U-turns. It's a, a perfect spot for it, but he just couldn't close the gap on Lagirok. Ooh, that was a nice But he catch. does! But he does, and the star comes out anyways, so... That would have hit them anyways, but on I think they were both pop uh, uh, zap there. Meanwhile, some of the faces that are battling for that third, fourth position are Makakoski, uh, who we see out in about six, seven. We see Yun in fourth, great for him. Laggy Rock passing up Lampert once again, and a twenty-five point drop for Power Eight is going to do wonders as far as boosting him back towards that podium. Uh, so a couple success stories, a couple frustration stories uh, developing as well as we see Sting in 11th, uh, Kila in 10th, BGM in 13th, and Nick and Frost, who we talked about trying to mount a comeback, they have not been able to do so here on Supermarket. Well, Nick has. Nick is in second. Nick is in second out of nowhere. Where is Laggy Rock? Yeah. This is Where is Laggy Did Laggy Rock? La Laggy Rock was second, I think. No, Laggy Rock is now 6th. Yeah, he was 2nd. He didn't DC. He's dropped down to about 6th place. So, uh, again, Laggy Rock has such a point surplus that this isn't going to be anything too crazy. He needs to come in, like, last multiple times. Uh, but it, it is interesting to see him dropping out of this race. Maybe some nerves setting in for him. Uh, Makakoski not able to find too much. Uh, Frost not able to find too much. G4 is not finding too much. Yeah, like, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Terry. We might see a swap up in the rankings here as a result of this. Yeah, we're gonna check because we have only two trucks left, and it's really interesting mm. how our <laughs> that was a beautiful <laughs> jump. On a he battery. tried it. He tried it. Dum dum, finishing so well that power date with a win. Nick again with the second place. Jan showing finally strong in the session. Ama fourth. I didn't see Ama on the, in the top of the table for a long, long time in that session. Lampert. Fire change fifth, Kilabarus fourteenth. That's a kind of a surprise, but let's see uh, the tables. Do you have the points? 
and and Riles noting that uh, that was actually Lagerock's worst worst race in the entire event with eight. Yeah. Uh, I will get those points updated right now. Let's get it going here. I'm not doing my job, <laughs> um, but we are <laughs> we're here. Uh, Laggy Rock two hundred nine. Yes, and I'm ready to keep going when you G-force. are. force Just tell me the name, and you got it. One forty seven. One forty seven kilobars. One fifteen. One fifteen. Uh, power eight. One thirty three. New third One place. Thir- One thirty three. Uh, One thirty three. Yeah. Okay. BGM. One twenty six. One twenty six. Makakowski. Ooh, one thirteen. One thirteen, I think. One fourteen. One fourteen. Matty. Ninety five. Ninety five. One twenty one. Yeah, he jumped. Frostbitten. Yeah. Uh one oh five. One oh five. Nick. One seventeen. One seventeen. Ama. Ama eighty nine. Eighty nine. Tom Dum. Tom Dom 68. 8. Lampert. 72. 2. And Ersu. 56. 56. Okay, let's see. Real fast. Go here, update, and we're gonna see really, really, really fast what is happening. Uh, Kippy saying tight rankings, and you're right about that, Kippy. Um, we saw Nick <laughs> just leapfrogging positions. On the back of a second place, I think it was second place. I don't even think he got first place. But you know, and he jumped way up. Yes, you know what this means. It is those points. It means that Laggy Rock is already a winner of that session. There's no denying. There it is. He, there's there only is. fifty points to gain. He is the winner. So guys, even if you want to support Laggy Rock, if you want to support the league, if you reach the three hundred dollars mark, it would mean that Laggy Rock just earned himself a ten dollars win for the session win. So we have a fight for the second and third place. So there's GeForce, there's Power 8. This is something that we're going to be mm-hmm. look, looking at. Also, BGM Yan. Nick showing strong. So maybe Nick with two wins back to back could earn himself 50 points. That would be a huge boost as well. So let's see what the two last races bring us here. Uh-huh. And, and yeah, Tara, I got to tell you, these races are as good as tied. Uh, like, for example, you and Nick, Kila. Sting, Makakoski, they're all good as tied because, uh, for example, if Frost got two first place finishes back to back, he'd go from 105 points to 155 points. Uh, so there is absolutely still potential for crazy moves to be made. We're just going to have to see about who actually ends up making those moves. Uh, and speaking of moves, we got the Ponga, which is going to be doing the opposite of moving if it gets caught up in the vent section and it's just going to block everybody. Uh, so he will be acting as a, uh, a ball bearing of sorts, a, a human ball bearing, if he gets caught up in, in the vent. So I'm excited to see if that happens. Oil's already coming out. Uh, Kilobar is going to get bailed out there by Lampert, pushing him through that pole. Kilobar is going to say thank you very much. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, up ahead, though, a couple people didn't get caught up in this huge mix-up oh, uh those people oh my God. <laughs> getting some air if, if you got extra points for for getting the most air in the lobby that would be bgm locking that one down uh but power eight again power eight making some serious big money moves out in first place once again almost trying to catch him um we got laggy rock in fifth chilling yuan in seventh uh nick in eighth um, Frost in fourth, so we I did I hypothesized mentioned it. You know, Frost could win two races back to back, and this is actually something that I talked to you in the mm-hmm. pre-show about, Terror. Uh, how some of those players, it doesn't matter how poorly they do, uh, they will still find a way to thrive. And so this, I, I if, if Frost, if it happened to Frost, I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to chain two firsts back to back. But in the meantime, we are looking backfield, and some high points earners are caught up there. Uh, Stingox is very far back. Nick is incredibly far back. That was a big time um, so... from, from Ersu there. <laughs> wow, that would be big. Maddie. Maddie in second, Ama in third. These have been two very quiet racers, so the huge points up on the board for them if they're able to make it happen. Could get some individual passes of their own. Ama with the battery on the Humma. I think he dropped an oil right there, too. I don't know if it hit Laggy Rock. 
uh, but it's definitely going to be an impactful oil around that Gallows U-turn. But look at Lagrock, he's not laying down his weapon, he wants to make a stample, like, he just wants more points, more He just wins. wants points! Yeah. Yeah, the man just wants his points, okay? Uh, so he's gonna try to get every single one of them, and in fact, by him fighting so hard, those big points divisions that I've alluded to with the MotoGP scoring system, uh, first, second, third especially, he's going to be hogging those points so that other people can't get them to make big moves. Uh, so very noticeable position for Laggy Rock to get in. As he wants second too, he wants to take second place from Matty. Uh, and there it is. He's going to grab it right out from under his nose. And, and Matty does have that defensive zap to recover with. And Frost... In, in trying to fight for third with the Hummer. Ooh, and there it is. This is scary. This is scary. You don't want to see Frost joining this mix of five to six players because guess what? He could pass up every single one of them uh, and just come from the absolute back out of nowhere. Kila Baris is caught up behind Air 2 there. Nick, neither one of them going to be getting many points for this race. G-Force in ninth as well, Terror, these players are dropping down. Yeah. Uh, the, the chokes are happening. They're not having the best session, that's for sure, but Laggy Rock. Yeah. I mean, for that change, he's still finding a really nice battle by Makakowski. Oh my god, that's like painful to watch from Matty. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ama still continuing to hunt down Laggy Rock, but unfortunately, Ama has not had the performance. Uh, to be able to really capitalize on that. He might be able to pass up some backfield positions, but um, mostly just going to be running disruption here on players like Frost, who are trying to get 20 points in his wallet headed into Toytanic 2. I was insane battery by, by Ama. I would never use a battery in such a place like he did. I, and he's on the Hama too. It's just, he's feeling the pressure. There's Frost with the battery. Oh my, there's his 20 points that we talked about. Thought it wasn't going to happen. You probably thought it wasn't going to happen. The viewers probably thought it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen. And there he finds that second place. That some, some racers are just able to make miracles happen. And uh, Frost eventually doing that. Uh, now G-Force is going to snag a couple positions. Uh, you know, 8th place, okay. It's decent, but um, a lot of those racers up on the front field are going to be challenging in a big way now. And uh, Duck saying, remove tumbleweeds. Uh, you, you must have missed yesterday because we had some of the most ridiculous tumbleweeds on Ghost Town 1 I've ever seen. So, power 8, um, we have a win, Laggy Rock. For, yes. Um, for, yes. for him, it's unfortunate. Finish, finishing fourth because he was a second for a really, really long time. Tom mm -hmm. last Nick for that. I mean, Nick was having a good comeback in that session, but unfortunately, 14th place, uh, Killa Bars as well. He yeah. had a momentum in the like, middle of the session and again, like a couple of bad races from his air. So he's just not having his best day. D force A from the people that uh, we saw so strong and Yam 10th, so we're gonna have mm -hmm. maybe some changes after that session. A uh, sneak peek, we can go ahead and update the scores now, but I will tell you we have a new second place okay. standing. So this is going race. to be a table before the last race, so let's see, Laggy Rock yeah. already confirmed our, our winner, so let's just go Laggy Rock. 222. 222. Uh, G-Force. 155. 155. Power 8. Uh, 158. 158. BGM. 131. 131. Yan. 127. 7. Nick. 119. 119. Kilobars. 119. 1, uh, 19, right? 19. Yeah, both of them. Uh, Sting. 123. 3. Mac. 124. Or Ross. 125. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Matty. Uh, 105. 105. Ama. 105. 5. Lampert. 79. 9. Tom Dum. 69. 69. Okay. And Ertsu. 59. Okay. Let's update real, real, real fast. And we're going to see the tables before the last race. I'm going to move to the last race, everyone. See hey. what is up. So the tables are live. So wait, 
D force. Okay, didn't. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a moment. Give me. Oh, okay, bear, okay, bear okay, with me. It, bear it, with me. It. Okay. One more time. It's gonna change. Yeah. Marquito in the chat. Shout out to Marquito. Second. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, data. Okay. Please change. Okay. It's live. This is correct. Okay. Okay. So, power it in the second with G Force. Only three points they fight for that top. Mm -hmm. to already not. Yeah, still top three. It's top three. La Laggy Rocky is a winner. So, power the G Force fighting and then. BGM, Jan, Frost, Max, Sting, probably Nick also, and Kilabarus. So many changes can happen here. Uh huh. Uh huh. We see uh, Racers tied at 9th, 10th, at 11th, 12th. Uh, it's going to be way too much for us to cover every single race. We're going to stay mostly locked in on Power 8 versus G Force, is a race to watch. Um, there's, I, um, I think there's too many points for fourth place to catch third or second. Uh, so, but we've also got BGM, Yun, Makakoski, the Chilean trio are fourth, fifth, and seventh. Frost in there above Makakoski by one point, and uh, Sting one point, and Nick and Kila can also both catch every single racer on this uh, 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 it, uh, in like fourth place. I think. You know what I have so, to say? I, yeah. I, I, from all those races, I have a feeling like G Force is not having the best session and yet he is he's not. I, like what is he's <laughs> hey, yes. happening? Yeah, exactly. Good analysis there. Uh yeah. Uh it's he's making it work. Uh it, but Frost hasn't either, and Frost has gone from way, way, way down there to uh being in six and only being back by a couple points. Now, we saw the pickups. Uh I don't know if any got played there, but we are gonna see the star right away. And nobody's going for it. That's interesting. We might have some people with batteries who are feeling comfortable. Um, didn't quite... I don't think anybody had a battery. I think they just didn't go for the star. Uh, the oil's coming out in full force. Three oils being laid on that turn. Yun knocked out of the way. Power 8 is in uh, third. Ooh. Yun trapped in that oil. BGM, one of our top racers for that fourth place position as well. Uh, again, Yuen, Makakoski, BGM, Sting, if any of them get a good finish, they could be grabbing a whole number of positions. And I, so, and I love it from Laggy Rock. He's still fighting. He still third. wants to win. Yeah. Laggy Rock just wants his points, man. Uh, now, in the meantime, Frost has switched to the Toyeka, and he is in second place here on the final track. Sting, Serious mode on, and also Toyeka, just an outstanding uh, car for Toytanic. Uh, so, um, he is going to be hoping to leapfrog, as we've mentioned, <laughs> a number of positions. Once again, Tom Dom with the battery. That's a nice battery, right, so, and Ian as well. Mm -hmm. And this second place for Frost would be outstanding. Um, in the meantime, where is G-Force? That's my question. I feel like G-Force is far back in the field, which would mean Power 8 would be taking home second, as long as he can just finish it out. Again, still not seeing B not seeing G-Force. Where is he? Last place. He's in last place. And Nick is in next to last place. So, And Nick is caught up in a tie. I think he's tied with Kilobaris. And Kilobaris is right there, too, in the very back. So we still got a fight there. Uh, Ertu with the Ponga, with the battery, he wall rides to cancel off the effects of the rockets, doing so with great, uh, to great effect. Um, and if we could flip up uh, further front field, we see Makakoski in fifth, um, Frost in second. So Frost looking to take the lion's share of the points to walk away with a fourth place finish over Yun, as well as um, BGM. But I'm pretty sure BGM is in one of these upper positions. He might be in like fifth. BGM um, is and fourth. And guess what? He's fourth. He's okay. And also, um, Laggy Rock is still challenging Frost, if you see. And Frost is challenging Power 8. So actually, I'm wrong. These podium positions could continue to get switched up. But if it were me, I would want peace at this point. I would want peace across the world. 
and I would just want to chill and take my podium spot here. So we'll see if, if these racers are having the same strategy. Laggy Rock does not give a, give a shit. Uh, <laughs> I can say that much. Uh, he's just going to continue shooting Frost, and Frost is going to hit a fake as well. That was the final lap! Oh my god, I thought we had more time. Makakoski, sixth place, and Tom Dom, what's he doing? Tom Dom's not going to finish. I don't know what happened there. Maybe just a long zap. G-Force in 11th, and Powerade is going to take second. BGM uh, finishing up in 8th. That's not going to be enough. I think Frost just got away with uh, a Daylight Murder. Uh, it, it just broad daylight, third place. Uh, I think he's going to take two positions from uh, fifth place and from fourth place. Um, uh, we'll have to we'll have to double check, but that was an insane finish. It all it seriously happened so quickly. Duck saying it's night. Uh, that's up in the air. There's a thunderstorm going on. It's it's hard to ascertain the, the exact information there. Uh, but we oh, let's get our final points tabulation, yeah. shall we? But for sure, Laggy Rock just even established harder than his ah, first place. Power Eight also defended his second place. That's also for sure. So yeah. the question is, did G Force defend his third place? I don't really know. He probably should defend his first place as well. He had a healthy yeah. advantage over BGM, but very healthy. Uh, before very healthy. we say that, do you have the point count? We do. Okay, so do. let me go with Laggy Rock first. Two forty-two. Two forty-two. I could. Could I? It would be better for me to copy paste it to you, or uh, uh, yeah, you sure, you can. Stuff? You can copy paste it. Just, I will just okay. Let's write do down. that to not spoil it. Yeah. Um. So. We got the player names first. Okay. And these are their points. Now. Okay, I see. That's kind of tricky there, but. <laughs> uh, it is. It is. But I, but I will. I will work my, my way somehow through this. Okay. Again, I would, I, I do, I want to say the points, but I don't want to spoil it for the viewers. Yeah, you can just talk uh, so a little bit about we, he, what happened yeah. that session. I will try yeah. to get it, get it straight. Uh, I mean, this might be the best, uh, the most dominant finish that we've seen across like any division so far. I think um, a laggy rock finishing uh, so many points ahead of, of second place. I can spoil that one because it's, it's not particularly news. Um, he's been smashing first place after first place. Even once he basically locked it down already with like three tracks left to go, he still found seconds and thirds across the board. Uh, so laggy rock, just a super, super powerful finish. Um, we saw the battle between Powerade and G-Force. They, they swapped back second a number of times. Um, Sting wasn't quite able to find his footing. He was one of the players that I predicted to be in the podium, but he just wasn't able to make a comeback. Um, whereas someone like Frost, we saw him make drastic moves there in the, fat, in the last couple of races, which is something that I, I alluded to in the pre-show. Um, Kila Barris was actually someone that we saw at second place um, for uh, in, in third, just generally upfield for a huge majority of the race, but had okay. a couple really damning. I got it. I got it. I, re ready. I really hope okay. that I got it uh, right. Here. I know it's tricky. It's tricky. Yeah, Trust me. So... You can see viewers. This is tricky. I hope it's correct. Uh, Laggy Rock. I'll, I'll 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 test it with it. We'll Laggy side Rock. Side. The huge winner here. Mm -hmm. He, I think, mm -hmm. he won like five races that session. Powered also a really strong session, like with four wins as well, or maybe even equal with Lagro with five wins, but having a couple of those worst races. G Force defending the third place. Frost with fourth. Is that correct? That is indeed correct. Yeah. He passed up BGM and Yuan on the final track on Toy Tannic yeah. with a, I think, a second place finish. Yeah, so we've got BGM in fifth, Yuan six, Sting seven, Makakowski eight, Nick ninth, Kilabarov's tenth. He had also uh, Nick and Kilabarov had some strong races. Kilabarov, I think, even won, won one or two races, I think. Uh, we've got Matty eleven, Amat twelve, Lampert. Uh, 13th, Tom Don 14th, Erzo 15th, and Kiki didn't participate today. So, mm -hmm. okay, first question. 
our top three predictions. I predicted only uh, GeForce, but I predicted GeForce, Erzo, and Lampard. So I only got one correct. What was your top three? You, you were going to predict Powerade, though, because you love the Italians. So but I didn't. I, I, I want to give you I want to give you like a half point because the attention was there. And just, <laughs> you just didn't do it. Uh, but my prediction was Laggy Rock, Sting Ox, and... Frost, I think. Um, I said Kiki, but Kiki wasn't there, and so I changed it to Yun. Yeah. Uh, and so I got first place overall, uh, sixth place, and seventh place. So nothing too crazy. But you got it better me than, than me, for sure. Uh, uh, slightly. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I didn't expect Powerade, honestly. He really strong show in that session as well let's get right. also if we could maybe get a really fast count of the points after the two play days uh good if point we could get that actually what are the standings uh could you count could you in meantime get get, get the point count for that for overall division i can try okay and mean meanwhile I will speak about a couple of things. First thing is, guys, okay, I can already see that, and you will not run from the chat. I see people without the freaking sub. So why are you <laughs> not subbing? If you sub, the entire the money goes to the prize pool. I see names. I'm going to call names. I see even Erzo without a sub. Come on, man. You're driving in the first ah, Come division. on, don't call it air, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Ponga, you're going to call it the Ponga driver? Seriously, dude? That's crazy, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I'm, I'm joking, but yeah, as a, yeah, as a yeah. prize pool, again, guys, we'll try to get the donation link fixed. We want it. We want the full support here. But for now, the subs will go directly. $100 is promised. It is said. It is there. So what else? Uh, we're still waiting for the tables, but what we can expect next time? Oh yeah, today we didn't have. Unfortunately, we didn't have a edited video with my challenge. We're gonna have it on the next session. A friend didn't just find time. He was he got sick, so he couldn't finish it. But I passed the second challenge. The third challenge. Let me read the third challenge. I will do it as well. But the third challenge is. Let me see it really fast. Really really fast. What are the challenges? Uh, the first challenge is called Pong Champ. Speedrun stunt arena with Panga and submit your run on speedrun.com. My god, it will take a eternity for me, I guess. But I passed the second challenge, which was find 10 or more stars in tri tra uh, train stunts. It was kind of fun. I also actually said on chat like who collected the 35. Uh, uh, star so entire and uh, wait, uh, who answered to me? Rod Rodic, yeah, Rodic uh, posted a video finding all the stars. So shout out to him, really nice uh, video by him. He used the UFO, so my question was like, if you can actually do it without the UFO, because that would be crazy to do it without without that car. And uh, next session, what are we gonna have for the third session though? Let me check that real fast as well, because the first section will be without any pickups, if I uh, remember correctly. But let me see really fast the first session. And the first session will be my race picks up off. But what exactly does it mean? I don't know. I think my race is like it swaps between if you like so whoever wins the first race gets to choose the next race and then I think if you come in last on the next race then you get to choose the next race it kind of swaps between first and last uh Nick I think and Ama both help develop this uh this game type so if I'm way off base y'all can call me out on that but I'm just doing the I'm still calculating here I just wanted to mention that Okay, so um, do we have the table, Hunk? We do not. Uh, we do not. We're getting it ready, but um, having to do some point conversions and stuff, it's going to take me a little bit longer if, uh, if we're going to do it. A little bit longer. Okay, guys, so what yeah. we, are, we have in store for the next week? So Wednesday is the Division 3 
Friday gonna be Division 2, maybe, I, I hope I will find time to actually cover the Division 2, because I know there is a lot of action uh, going on in the Division 2, and uh, I promised I would be able to do it this Friday, but unfortunately, you know, like, life is pretty tough. I need to fight my... I, I, guys, I need to fight so hard my way, actually, to be able to stream with Hong that uh, entire league. So, you know, like, give the support, guys. We really try to give our best to provide a fun experience and entertainment uh, to you. Uh, I would like to see live how TT tackles Super Super Saiyan and Virgil and all the others Marquito are fighting in the Division 2. What is happening there? And uh, yeah, Division 1. Uh, do we have yet the results? Because also as a remem uh, reminder, the tables after the first play they was with Jan as a leader and Lagirok was only 12 with 4 points. So he gonna earn 25 points. Uh, with this session, so a strong comeback from Lagirock, Powerlet as well, earning a lot of points. He was ninth after the first play day. I think G4 is gonna strengthen, strengthen himself, and Frost for well, sure because Frost was second and G4 was third. So maybe G4 is gonna G4 or Frost gonna maintain the first, gonna get the first place. We'll see about that. How is it going, Kong? going well we got our final edition just some addition so uh, i'm gonna say about 30 more seconds should be good to go okay guys as well again if you have any uh, support any thoughts you know give them on discord try to be active again support 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 the want to read that a 300 uh, mark of the prizes because 300 designs, let's check it out, it would mean like prizes for the entire three divisions, division 1, division 2, division 3 and also the session wins because I think like a session win is a really hard thing to achieve so it's nice to reward an extra uh, bit of let's, let's call it money or pizza money for the jokes, you know, for the winning uh, a session and that would mean that so far in Division 1 we would have Jan and Lagrock with wins and Division 2 back-to-back -back TT wins, so they already potentially earned some nice prizes already for winning those sessions. So, how do we do, Hong? Okay, ordering them now, we should... We got a lot of people neck and neck here. Um, three different people with 15 points. Uh, so we're gonna have some tiebreaker shenanigans there. Um, but just adding up our final ones here, this is a little bit messy. So if I miss someone, I do apologize, but I think we got the full front field pretty much figured out. Uh, we got a couple more here. Um, let's see. To be our last two. Okay. Uh, let me count the people. Okay. Okay, I've got 15. Close enough. Uh, we've got... Um, Yun in first. Yun has 35 points. Okay, let me let, let me write sessions. this down. Uh, Yun 35. Okay. Um, I'm assuming we're doing MotoGP points for the overall standings as well. Uh, hopefully, yeah. praying. Okay. Uh, so 35 for him. Frost has 33 second place. Yeah. G in third with 32, so familiar names there. Frost yes. and G, second, third. Uh, we got Laggy Rock fourth with 29. Okay. Uh, Power Power Eight fifth with with 27. Okay. And then a big drop down. Makakoski, uh, 18. So he is in sixth. Okay. Sting is tied. No, Sting has 18. No, 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 sorry. Uh, Sting is tied. Okay, this is our three-way tie. Sting, Kilobaris, and Ama all have 15. Uh, oh, 15. So they are tied St for Sting, like... Sting, 15. Kilobaris, 15. And who? Ama. Ama, 15. Wait, 
Where's yeah. Alma? Okay, so Magakowski 18. Okay, uh, three people. Okay, go next. Yes. Ertsu is next. He has 14 points. 14, okay. Matty with 13. Uh, Matty 13. BGM with 11. Yes. Nick with 7. Oh, Nick, come on. And Kiki and Tom Dom tied, and that's our that's our sixteenth. I missed out so, on Tom Dom. So, so Kiki, so Tom Dom, tied five with five. Points. Okay, uh -huh. so let me get that sorted and imported. I hope I get everything right here. And yeah. I'm gonna actually let me on this. Let me the tables fast. Update them. Overall standings. Yes, I think he's correct. Okay, let's see. So for now, let's see him. Jan Frost and Deforce Lagrock, a huge jump from the play the one. No, yeah. I think I think you were also hyping up a little bit Tom Dom uh, for the division one. I was, and he is actually doing not so great after the two play this. Maybe we're still gonna so, see strong showing from Tom him. Dom. Yeah, he had, he had a promotion. He was he was the top dog of division two, one of the top dogs of division two. And he got promoted this year to Division One with some great qualifying times. He hasn't been able to make it work, but I definitely think that Tom Dom has the potential to improve for sure. Okay, so actually, it's still everything up to grabs. We have, we have eight play days to go, so I hope that Lampert, Nick, Kiki, Tom Dom will bounce uh, bounce back to the upper ranks here. And let, the, the biggest, yeah, you go ahead. Sorry about and that. And I'm really looking how Laggy Rock will do the next session because he impressed me today a lot. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, very true. Um, so I would say our biggest points gap is between fifth and sixth. Um, so ah, yes. that's the most worrisome point is that, that, uh, that nine point drop between fifth and sixth. So. It seems yeah. like 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, all the way down, very tightly grouped. Uh, but they are starting to lose ground on, on the, that yeah. front half of the field. But anyways, uh, I think that's it for today. We had a really long stream, like two hours stream. So let's not make it any longer. I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep supporting, you know, guys. And see you on the next sessions, I believe. No peaks off, so it's Do a bad deal for me. Yes, Hunk. Mm, do donation link coming. Donation link should be ready yeah. pretty much right after after this. So yeah, we just want if to you're have it feeling straight. generous, cheers. Um, again, we got those donation uh, prizes, uh, so it would really be so sick, in my opinion, if we could see uh, people get ten dollars for winning a race. That's like the cool. That's like the coolest prize that I can possibly think of is being able to pick up ten dollars. Uh, on a weekend uh, racing on Revolt. So <laughs> I really hope we can get that $300 uh, pool and, you know, keep keep it keep the hype going, guys. Good to see you all in chat popping off, as always. Yes. So bye-bye, everyone, and see ya in the next session.